right so we'll Hi. hey guys Nadesh has to get closer to me because if she's not close to me she won't be in it at all i'm you, sorry you can come share your my seat with me i'm just kidding my ass overflows the chair <laughs> Anyways, hello everybody. We are here live and um, sorry I'm running late as always, but um, I wanted to go live and uh, play a game with you called Hitster. Um, I know we said we were going to go live around 9.30, but I figured it would be more like 10 or 10.30 because by the time we got home and Settled unloaded down. the car and took Sierra to the bathroom and we needed to do unpacking the car and all that good stuff. Then, uh, you know, <laughs> she's like TMI. <laughs> I had to the non-stop TMI conversation. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Anyways, I got my drinks. Miguelito has his modelo. And um, Nadesh is over here trying to warm up. I'm overheating. Michael is probably overheating. I'm in the I'm middle, so I'm it. extra overheating. What's up, Packable? How you doing? Hey, Pac -Man. All right, so tonight, you guys, we are going to play the game called Hitster. Basically, what this is, is we listen to different types of music. And Jeremy, how are you? Hey, Jeremy, Hi. what's up? Good to see Hello. you. Packable, thank you for joining. Um, so anyways, uh, what you do is you grab, there's going to be two teams. So... I guess we'll team up because he knows music really well. So yeah. I guess we'll do the team together. So me and Nadesh will be on one team and Miguelito will be on another team. Yeah, Let me see we'll if I can back this. On this um, yeah, and you guys are going to also help us as well. Like number three. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Appreciate that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a song. One of us is going to, um, there's a QR code on these. So if you guys can see, we scanned the QR code and then a song will pop up. We decide whether or not that song is before or after the songs that we are in the timeline. But we have to start with so many cards. How many cards did we start with uh, before? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember? I think we finished with a total of 20, didn't we? No, we finished with 20, but okay, so we're gonna do this until- I think, until, we, I think um, it was 30. Let's just decide on 12.15. Is that good? Yeah, 12.15. 12 12 We're going to do this until 12.15, and whoever the winner is at 12.15 wins wins the game, okay? So I forgot how many we were supposed to have. Oh, here. Play that funky music. It says, scan the QR code to go to the website for instructions on how to play Hitster. None of us know how to play. I forgot how many we were supposed to have. And then are we supposed to, like, um, put them? Here we go. We're grabbing it out. Let's get it out. What does this say? What is this? Oh, this is the years. Okay, yeah. so on here, on the backs of them, it shows like what year that they are. Okay, but on the front, you scan the QR code, they play music. Obviously, you don't look on the back to see the what year it is. You don't want to be cheater beaters. But um, if you happen to want to be a cheater beater, you know, kind of just glance when they're not looking. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So anyways, um, we'll go ahead and we're not going to play these. I think we've already played these before. It was really fun um, to play these. So we're going to try to play the other ones. This guy knows his music, but you know what? I was actually really surprised. You know your music pretty good too, like as far as the years. Me, I know absolutely nothing. I just know how to sing the songs. <laughs> so um, kind of, sort of, maybe a little She bit. knows the lyrics, I know the artist, and she's better with the years. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. So I don't know, let's say that we're gonna start with how many? How many should we start with? I don't even know what the rules are. How many are we supposed to start with? We're supposed to scan this to find out. Can you scan that and find out? Okay, let's see if that works. It says, oops. Oh, I think you have to use that on your camera. Go on your camera. I did and then this popped up. Huh? I scanned this and then No, this... on your camera. That's not on your camera, it's a camera camera. Yeah, and then you scan that, the QR code, and it'll pop up and you click that and it'll tell you how many cards you should get. Anyways, hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> All right, guys. We have a few people. So you guys can help us play as well. You guys can put the different years over there. Like say if me and the Dash have no freaking clue on what year it's going to be, then we'll go ahead and um, put it in the system. I'm not sure if this is even working anymore because after the third 
thing, it stops. Yeah, then it tells me open. Huh? It says open it? Yeah. I don't know. So let's start with, how should we, how many should we start with? Should we start with how many? Five? Five. Okay, five, and we'll put them in order of what you think that the order is. Oh, here. Three, four. Okay, I'll read the instructions next time. Okay. Is it is it going? I don't know. Maybe there's just not anybody talking. Anyways, all right. So we're going to go ahead. If anybody's in here, chat. <laughs> Oh. Let me see if it's I'm working. Confused. Oh, okay, there. Now it's working. Okay. I'm confused. I don't know how um, to cheat yet. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> we will We will learn how to cheat. Okay. So, so, so no, no, no. What we're going to do is we're going to take the five, and I guess we'll go from there. So you have four. We're going to lay them out in front of us, and then we'll, we'll play. I guess we can play them. We'll, we'll do one, we'll alternate, and then we'll figure out what order these go in, and then we'll pick from the thing, okay? okay? From that there. Okay, because I can't remember how we did it. We read the instructions last time, but we completely forgot, so we're gonna make our own instructions this time, and then we'll figure it out. Okay, so if he's guessing ours, then he should scan ours. Yeah. Because you're trying to take our card. So it's usually like we do it the first person to 20, but tonight we're gonna just do it the um, as many whoever has the most by twelve fifteen. So um, we each are gonna do five cards each. We're gonna place those in in the order of the years that those songs. Then um, it's not gonna be fun, right? We're gonna just try to guess the years based on whatever song is playing. All right, and your your music is all the way up, right? The volume. The volume. Yeah, you have to put it all the way up, all the way to the top. That's it's loud though. Okay, that's fine. Don't it worry. won't be it won't be too loud. They, all, they need to so, be able to hear. We're all, so, right, uh, <laughs> we're all uh, we're, deaf. What's up, Nancy? How are you? Good enjoying, to see you. So. I mean, I don't think it's any louder than my voice, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah. what I, I scan this. Mhm. Mm so he's gonna try to steal ours, and we're gonna try to steal his. Okay, go ahead. I think each of us could have a stack of cards too. We can put it. Senorita. Okay, hold on. So you're trying to guess. This was not that many years ago. This is very recent. No, this is your turn. It's your turn. Yes. to take a card. Oh no, we're supposed to put these in our years, oh, in, in no. years in order. Okay, so we're gonna put ours in order. So, Senorita, is that the name of the song? Yeah, yeah Camila Cabello. Cabello. Um, uh, what year is that, you guys? What year do you think that this song came 2020. out? 2020. 2019. I'm gonna say 2021 or two. <laughs> I'm gonna say 2021. 2012? What's up, Martin D? You think 2012? No. No, it no, was announced. No worries, 2012. I'm going to go with, okay, we're going to put this in the order that we think, and we're going to see how many of them we got right. Okay, so we're going to go with 2000 and, you said 2020, I said 2021 or 22. So you want to yeah. go 2021 or 2020? 2020. Okay, I'm going to go with her answer because she's pretty good at this stuff. So 2020, okay, we're going to have to remember that's 2020. Okay. Now, now let's play one with you. Wait, don't, don't we need the answer? No, okay. 2019? That's what I said. What? You guys, it was 2019. So do I get the card? No, no, no. no, no. We're going we're gonna to just place them out. We're going to place them out originally. Okay, we can just keep it flipped. Okay. Yeah, so but then, you guys didn't get it. Then. No, we're going to do that when we, when we start. We're going to just place these here, and then we're going to place the cards that we're doing in between these. We, we don't know the rules, so we're just going to make our own. Okay, ready? Go. Come on. Go. Next. Oh, next song. Michael, next. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> All right. But it tells me the answer when I look at it. Oh, so then we have to do opposite? No wonder you guessed right. <laughs> Oh my 
goodness. Okay, I didn't look at the year. We're gonna take this one. No. Okay. I didn't look at the year, I promise. I put that on everything. I didn't look at year. Okay, so Wait, you just <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna leave you at home. Thank you. Okay, let's put this beer over here. He's <laughs> drunk already, obviously. <laughs> Off of a half a beer, he got drunk. <laughs> These paper good. towels are very stretchy. You two should have a comedy relief. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Miguelito, you can help. You did spill the beer. I think you guys should be very He's sitting there looking at us, watch, watching us clean up. <laughs> and he spilled the beer. I'm like, Okay. Oh my god, the, the, the card is disintegrating. Oh no. Boy. Oh my god, this is like the toilet <laughs> This is like the toilet paper that disintegrates in your in your butt. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Dan Modelo. I don't know what your ingredients are, but it's making the card shrivel up. Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh! Imagine what it does to you. Sometimes. I know, right? Oh my yeah. gosh, that's a hot mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank wait, you. Put, wait. Your cards. How did you end up with two? Oh my god. Wait. How did you end up with two? Here, here. I don't know what cards you have. All right. Sorry. We're starting all this over again. <laughs> Gonna be a wild night. They said. <laughs> All right, wait, what happened when you got all excited and the Modelo made you spill everything? It did get me excited. I got, man, that's You got really good. excited and it's just like... <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's try this again let's without spilling the Modelo this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. So okay. I think I know how to play it. Yeah. You're supposed to guess the year. You're supposed to guess the year. Okay, but we have and to do, you we guess... have to scan you. But if you're wrong, then I get your card. Yes, yes, I'm, that's how we play it. But we're gonna we originally have to put it on the line, and this the will one be our line. The most. So we'll figure out the dates from here, and then we'll and then we'll play afterwards. Right. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So we're gonna do you. Okay. Where's the the thing? It has to go. On oh, here the, it is. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. Okay. All right, guys, ready? Listen to this song and help us help help uh, Miguelito choose a date. Don't cheat, y'all. Don't cheat. All right, ready? How do I do this? Press play. No, we gotta scan it, but the song. Oh. I don't never even heard of this song. I don't think. Okay, ready, guys? Here we go. Um, you know this? I know this thing. I don't know this song at all. Anybody know what year this song came out? I'm gonna say 2015. 2015? What do you guys think? What do you guys think of what year this song came out? Does anybody know? I all think right. it's older. You think it's older than that? Okay, Miguelito says 2015. It tells you on there. Oh, God. It you. Does it? No, this doesn't. This isn't the answer. This isn't the answer. Is that what you were saying that wasn't an answer? Yeah. Okay. It is older. All right, ready? Go. Flip it. Flip it. Somebody unedited said 2017. Ooh, <laughs> it's really old. No wonder I don't know it. I'm no, too young. No, 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 no. There's two tabs. There's two cards. Wait, you flip. <laughs> There was two stuck together. The Modelo made the two stick together, you guys. So we were so playing. So it's actually 2011. Oh, I was going to say. I was like, no wonder. I was like, wait. 1998? No, there's no way. 1998. Okay, so two, 2011? Okay. Right. Next one. 2013, early love, you said? Hey, Bob Sigmund says, hello, hi, hottie Rhonda, sexy Mikey, and sexier Natasha. <laughs> I don't know if I can take at night this hot. Suddenly, I'm craving mushrooms. <laughs> He's craving titties. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. We're going to.
going to go next, Miguelito. See, oh wait, so it is 2011. Maybe it does have the answer on here. Yeah. All right, just don't look at the answer. Just I won't look at the answer. Here, here's well, ours. No, I'm scared. No, I know, I know. Man. Okay, all right, we're going to look at the next, the next one. Hold on. Michael has a mushroom too, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I just oh see it. I just see it. I I'm that. surrounded by mushrooms up here. You need to. You need to. <laughs> I'm surrounded okay, by go. mushrooms. It's getting hot in here. All right, ready? Good luck. Oh, he said good luck. <laughs> this is <laughs> way before my time. Michael, this is your time. Can you let us know what year? Can you guys hear it? Do you have it not volume up? Does anybody hear this song? 1950s? Stick around. You will feel like you're on a mushroom. Uh, um, what year do you think? That sounds like in the 1920s. 1950s, 40s. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna go with 1948. Okay. 1974? You think? No, no, no. no. It's not 1974. It's Is that the name of the song, My Blue Heaven? Is that the name of the song? Who knows? Yeah. Oh, shit, Bob. You know this Whoa. song? Damn. I know. Okay, so what's the. You said 19. Why are you cheating? He said 1940, though. That song sounded older than dirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. No offense to anybody. It just sounded really old uh, to now me. Now you're asking why. Wait, more. no, that was ours. We, we haven't started stealing each other's things. We're just doing each other's for now. Do and then we're going to. Oh so God. we're going to put them in order. We need to put them in order. Yeah, we're going to put them in order. Okay, Jane ready? Austin. Miguelito. Okay, you guys. I'm a DJ. Oh, it's your job. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 1927, as you said. Uh, 64. Okay, ready? We're gonna play again. Miguelito, don't look. Dude, that was before the original King Kong came out. Oh, this song, I'm going to say, is very old. But not as old as the 20 ones. Okay, ready? Let's yeah. go. Whoa. I'm gonna say this is 1987. <laughs> is that in the 60s? I want to say this song is... I don't know, maybe 86? I'm going to go with 86. No. Forget it. Sorry. 86. I want to say 1956. 1956. Is it that old? 1960. 1956. I'm okay. really off. All right. You ready? 58. 58. Oh. 1958, you guys. Oh my gosh. we got to give them a second to answer. 1958. Nancy would have been right. 1990. No, 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 no. We're no. we're still. Wait, how did we end up with one extra? Wait, wait. That is yours. Is, you're right. You're right. right. Okay. You know, I follow. Now I gotta scan yours. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna scan ours right now. All right. All right. Let's give them a second to be able to answer though, because it's a, it's a, like 20 yeah. seconds delayed. All right. Hello. Mm. Hello, Wolf Wolf. How are you? I don't Welcome, know. Welcome everybody. Gonna this one. Okay, ready? We're Here gonna we go. try to we're gonna try to play this song. Okay, ready? Let us know what you guys think. And try to name that tune too. It's a do you like making love after midnight? That's the same song, right? Dang, hey, how is it called? Does anybody know this song or what year it came out? Okay. Oh wait, is that a different it's song? It's the Colada song. The yeah, do you like, like Pina Coladas? Yeah. 1975. I don't know. I started born. drinking Pina Coladas and this song was already out when I started. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure it was sometime before I turned age 16. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Wait, how old do you have to be? 21 to drink? Yeah. Just kidding. I was 21 when I had my first pina colada. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, escape the pina colada song. All right, what year? Nancy says 1979 pina colada. 1978. Don't cheat, you guys. Don't look it up. I said 1975 because it's. Smart. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go with 77 because that's the year I was born. I go with 75. Oh, you were 70. 75. Who got it right? Nancy, are you cheating? Are you <laughs> I'm using, a cheater, uh, Nancy. Shazam. 1979 it is. Good job, Nancy. Good job. 1979. Okay, All right. All right. I'm going to do yours. You do mine. I'll do yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? All right. We're going to close it. All right. We're going to do Miguelitos. Give me something good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did it What is the coincidence? I know. Out of any song that they could have been. Oh, Wolf Wolf says hi to this. Hi. Oh, no, this is a different song. Oh, Wolf Wolf says hi, Mikey. Hey, Wolf Wolf. Now I'm hot. I don't see. I'll take it off. I, I had to take off all my clothes. 1984. 1984? What do you guys in the chat think it is? Uh-oh, no more mushrooms, guys. Sorry, it came off. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. Oh, but how did you have chocolate in your shirt? I don't did know. Did you even eat chocolate today? <laughs> you flew no, off. It's, it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> she has chocolate. Oh chocolate boobs. <laughs> chocolate milk. <laughs> No, all there's, right. there's nothing in. <laughs> That's a 1984. <laughs> all right, all right. But, 1981 yeah. we have? Okay, what year you guys think? 1985? All right, keep going with the guesses. We'll give you um, another minute. 1976. I don't even know. I would say, let's go with 79. What did you say? 84. You said 84? It might have been the 80s. 81. Can I change mine to 81? No, you, you can't change. Okay, 79 it is. All right. Let's look. Suddenly, I'm ready for a, a, a gondola ride? What the hell? What the hell? I wrong with this piece? <laughs> I don't know. Bob, he said, what's wrong? She said, what's wrong with you? You know? Oh, look. 1979. Oh and I, you guys wouldn't let me change it, so I was right. All right, Miguelito. Was that ours or yours? All right. All right, here, Miguelito, do ours again. It says a cheap trick. What? That cheap trick? Not, not you, no, no, he's not calling you a cheap <laughs> trick. What the fuck? <laughs> he's not calling you a cheap trick. He said it's a cheap trick. Oh my god. What? Okay, okay, play, play. This is her favorite song. I don't know what uh -oh. year it came out. I swear to God. I mean, if she my does, song, if she I does not get this song, she deserves a. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't want you touching my face. I don't know what you've done with those hands the oh last God. week. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, ready to go. He said the band is called Cheap Kids. Love me. Oh! Go to A. Love me. Love me. Love me. Love me. No. I'll say 2008. 2000, 2009. Yeah. 2005. 2008 or 9. Have your friends collect your records and then change your number. Cause I don't need that though. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. I used to know. I'd say 2008 or 9. Because I won't say why, but I have to associate it with um, somebody. I would say 2000 and. Oh, let's see, what year was that? It was March of 2008. That I met that person. So it was after March 2008. Because I remember I was on my way to see him. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. 2009? Here we go. 2011! Dang! How many years after I met him? I guess I was talking to him for a lot of years. <laughs> okay. Never mind. All right. That's a good song. Wait, we were... We, okay, 2010, 2007, That's 2004. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. All right, ready, Miguelito? We're gonna do you next. I, I remember listening to that song on the way. 
All right, here we go. Ah, I don't know this song, but I know the band. All right, ready? Let's go. Hey, Daisy, how are you? We're guessing what years this came out. Can you guys guess the band? That's a... Good time no, it's a 90s one. Well, I want to say 1997. Mm -hmm. it, they even came out in the late 80s, didn't they? I, late I 80s? think it's 1990-something. Yeah, late say, 80s? Because I was in junior yeah, high late, school. Late 80s, late 80s or early 90s. Because I was in high school. And I was in like junior high or high school. Yeah. I think I was in high school. Right, okay, 1988, 88. Are you guys cheating? You guys all came up with They're the, all the same Shazam. answer? Are you guys shazamming? Don't shazam now. All right. Don't be shazamming. Don't be shazamming. Sh don't be shazamming. <laughs> I said 1988. Don't be shazamming. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, ready? 1995 STP stop. <laughs> One of them. All right. 1991, somebody said. All right, let's look and see. 1995. Ooh. Ooh. Daisy. Wait, I hope you're. Oh, what's up, Ravala? How are you? 1995, you guys. It's 1991. Man, that's the year I graduated elementary school. You graduated high school <laughs> in 1990. <laughs> Didn't you graduate high school in 1991? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And when did you graduate? 1992. And I graduated in 1995. I feel so young. No, kidding. <laughs> I'm surrounded by old people. <laughs> I'm surrounded by oldies but goodies. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, next song, next song. Oh, Pearl Jam, huh? Yeah, I love Pearl Jam. My favorite song, I like Black. What is it, Jeremy? They sing Jeremy too, right? I was like, what happened? All right. I need a card. All right, you need a card? All right, here we go. All right, Miguelito's gonna do ours. Don't don't look it up, guys. Let's, let's play it for fun without looking it up. I like this song. And I can only see her face And it's you I can't replace But this so good and I long for your embrace What year is this, guys? Is this the police? Uh-huh Is it the police? Yeah Oh, I got the band right Okay, police They were an 80s band I would say 80 80 Let's see. I would say 84, 85. What do you guys think? 84, 83, 85. Don't tell me the answer yet. Let's see. Nadesh, what year was that? What song? The song that we just played. I don't know. I, it wasn't here. Okay, Miguelito, play it again for her. All right. The Police, 1985. Don't look it up, guys. Don't look it up. Just guess, okay? 1986, we have a whole bunch of 80s. I mean, we can't miss it. Everybody well, in everybody has at least one year in the 80s. 1986. Let's see. I'm guessing, um, babe. 92? It was one of my favorite albums. I loved it. Why are you, you have to pee? Do you need a potty break? You're shaking so much. I feel like I'm sitting on an earthquake fault. Damn. He's okay. nervous. You're making him nervous. <laughs> making, you're making him nervous. I'm sure I'm not. Okay, the answer. <laughs> All right. What is it? What is it? What year? Let's see who got it right. I said 82. It's 83. 83. Who said 83? Bob Sigmund is correct. Who else was correct? Nancy was correct. All right, guys. Good job. Good, Good job. job. Oh, man. All right. So, Miguelito's last one, and then we're going to go ahead and start the game after this one. Okay, ready? Come on. Let's see. This glare on here is too much. There we go. Oh, I know this song. Ready? Ready, guys? Let's go. Don't, don't you want me? 
Okay, what year do you think? What year do you guys want to want to uh, guess? I love the 80s. I know the 80s was the best era ever. You know what we need to do? We need to go to the 80s club down the street. The 80s club down Next the street? Because I'm off. <laughs> okay, we can do that. I, I don't think we can live stream from there. but No, I you can't. Well, I have. But you can't do it with the gimbal. I have to just do it with my phone. Mm -hmm. um, okay, ready? How, what year do you guys think? 1984, 1981, 1986. Ooh. Are you guys, are you guys Googling the years? Are y'all Googling the years? They're all popping up on our CDs. <laughs> all right. Somebody yeah. in the chat has it right. Yeah. All right, it was 1981, you guys. 81. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and start playing now. You're going to take half of the deck. Here's your half over here. And here's our half over here that you spilled your beer all over. <laughs> yeah, oh, this, my gosh. My goal here will get this beer. Okay. No, what are you doing? Put it back. Flip them over, and now we're going to fill in in between in the blanks. So we have them in order. Okay, so put them in um, chronological order. So we're going to put the cards in chronological order. So now we're going to um, take turns. You can do it up here so it doesn't have to be right on top. And this can go close to you. Put these close to you so you can use them. Okay, and put these in chronological order. That's not chronological order here. All right, so now we have our cards in chronological order. So now we're going to um, we're going to place the cards where we think they are supposed to go, and in between the the years that we already have. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do each other's cards like we've been doing. All right. We have going over. So is his cards ours and our cards are his? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. So who goes first? Who was last? I just did. You did? Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's. Scan. Let's scan one of those. Wait, no, it would be him scanning ours because we're done, right? Okay. Just have him scan whatever. You don't okay. have to give it to me. I got to guess it. Okay. All right, ready? Guess what year this is. Who sings it? The name of the song? What year? Let's go, oh, guys. You know who sings it? The name of the song and what year? I don't know when it's Stop me up. Stop me up. Is this 1966? All right. What year do you think that came out, guys? 1982, 1980s, Start Me Up. What is the band, you guys? Is it Start Me Up is the name of the song. What's the band? Oh, the shit. Rolling Stones. Yes, Ro yes. Rabola is Rolling Stones. Start Me Up. You guys have the right song, the right answer um, for the name of the song. Oh, yeah, that's too Daisy, early. thanks. Hope you're good. Thank you, thank you, thank I'm you. I'm at 1976. So you're going to go with what year? 1976. He's going to go with 1976, you guys. It is 1981. One. So it's for us. Thank you. All right. Your turn. Here. Here. Okay. The rolling stone. Wait, no. Don't I get it from underneath it? And if I'm over, then you get it? Oh, if it's in between. No, because, you have to place it in you between. You have to put it oh, in, be in between and you were over. And you said 1970 what? 76. Yeah. So you were so, underneath. It was in between here. Yeah. Right. So it's ours. Yeah. Good job. All right. Let's go. Okay. We're going to play this one. <laughs> Smash that like, you guys. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Ready? We're going to get this. Okay, 
So is it just like the 60s or I the 50s? I don't know. It's in the 50s. Did, she wasn't living in this country at that time. No. I Wait, was, you weren't even born yet. <laughs> no. no. I, I'm old, but not old as dirt, okay? Um, so we have 1920, 1979. So we'll put it in. Okay, middle. we're gonna so get it. 1950. I'm gonna say 1958. Okay. Let's turn it over. What 1960. Year? Woo! Woo! All right. We gotta give them a chance to guess it, though. Okay. So for the next time, we'll okay. give them a chance to guess. All right. Ready? I know, but they can't tell the answer because then if they give you the right answer, you're there's a 20 different answers. So how do we know which one's right? Um, and we, give us the right answer, guys. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Help I'm just out, like, I'm gonna watch this drink. I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay, ready? Like out this house. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Ready? Tell me the name of the group, the song, and the year. Ready, guys? Let's go. I don't even think I've seen this song right. I call it yes, no. I don't even know the word. <laughs> you know how many times, how many of you guys make up songs? Like oh, yeah. lyrics to words. I mean lyrics to songs. I'm singing the wrong stuff all the time, but it's okay. I know. Me too. My version is better. I know, right? I don't even know what my version is. It changes. Yes, ma'am. Was away for the weekend at the beach home. Ooh. All right. What year? The name of this song. Can you name the song? Name that tune. 1997. The tune is 1997. I don't know the name. You don't know the name of the so song. What's the where group? You, where you want to put it? Okay, put it. Don't help him. Don't help him. So here, right? Okay. Uh, after, uh, no. He said 97. Okay, 90, 97. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? Portugal the man, 2016. Portugal the man. Okay, Portugal the man is the right group. That's the group. What's the name of the song? Do we have the song in the t in there? What year? Song and year. Which one do you guys think? 2017, Portugal the Man. Hi, Rambula. 2017, Fill It is the name of the song. Fill It Still. Yes, that yes. is the correct song. Good job, Daisy. Daisy, isn't this before your time? Are you Googling these things or you just happen to know all these old songs? All right. Because you know y'all weren't born in 2017. Not one of y'all in the chat was born in 2017. I'm just playing. I was like, um, uh, I'm playing. Yeah. Uh, hey, sh uh, Shetta, J. What? Why do you call her that? All right. So All right. 2017. The answer is 2017. So Guess what? It goes to us. Woo! We're on a roll. We're on a roll again. We're on a roll. Roll it. Rolling. 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 Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses, 19, oh, 89? 89, okay. I'm gonna go with 89, I don't, I don't know what year it is. So, 89 right here. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say 80 something, like late 80s, early 90s, no, early 90s, it was already out by the 90s. Yeah. I think it was right when MTV first started coming. 85 maybe? 86? What did I say? 86, 89, 88. Let's go with 88. <laughs> Let's go with 88. Right. Let's give the chat. What's up, Ka? How are you doing? What do you guess? What do you guys guess over there? Guns and Roses, 1989. Oh, I said 89 originally. Should we go back to 89 or should we go with 87? Dang, I don't know. Has Mike been working out? His forearm looks huge. He's got tickets to the gun show. Woo! Ow. Let's go! <laughs> Let's see hey, compared to my chicken legs. Uh, What's the answer? All right. So what are we going to go with? 1988, 89, 87, 86? I'm going to go... We should go with 89. I think it was 89. like close to 90. Okay, 89. Okay, we're going to go with 89. All right. Ready? Ah! Oh, it was 87! So I, I swear it was 
No, you no, didn't, because it's within between the three right years. We've Even been, though you went over? Yes. We're, we're like, within the years. We you have to place it, it by the years. Those, so we win if it's in between 83 we and We put it in between here. You have to be oh. within the chronological order. So you put order. it in between your thing. And if He's it's just mad that we're between. Okay. That's okay, Nadesh. Let's go. Woo! Okay, ready? Go. All right, next one. Is this yours? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Next one. Get your ears on. And not your Disney ears. All right, ready? Name this tune. Who sings it? Stop being cheater, Peter. The tune. And who sings it? And the year. Ready? Go. If you wanna be my lover. Isn't this Wilson Ford? No. And it's funny because I know this one. It's so easy. I don't know the year. Oh, that's Spice Girls. Yes, girl. I want to be? Yes. So which one here are you guys guessing? Ready? Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. If you want to be my lover. All right. Okay. Where you want to put Title it? of the song. Who sings it? And what year, guys? Wanna be the Spice Girls? 1984, so, 1988, Michael. 1996. 96? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll go with that answer. Cindy Lauper. Okay. You're gonna go with 1996? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? If you wanna be my Spice Girls was like, my daughter was born in 96. It was somewhere around. <gasps> I feel like I'm in New York. Didn't they just have an earthquake? Yeah. All right. All right, Let's keep it in New York and not in California. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, he keeps rubbing and shaking, shaking, uh, shaking. Shake it up, baby, now. <laughs> Shake it up, baby. <laughs> Twist and jump. Let's get it. All right. Let's go. Uh, all right. Which one? Which year are you going to do it? 96. You put in 96? 96. Woo! My daughter was 96. I would have said 96, too. Because it was around that same time. Does that mean I go again? No, it doesn't was, mean you go again. That means I got exactly time. right. So I get a bonus. No, no, you don't. Here, we'll give you a chip. Here, there you, you go. go. <laughs> you can take that chip home. Here. Okay. All right. All right. Here's ours. I need the phone. You need the phone. Here you go. All right, guys. Next song. Next song. Smash that thumbs up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me see. All right. There you go. We got thirty in the chat and twenty-nine likes. Let's get another like in there. All right. Ready? Like, like, like. Like, like, like. Hi, Billy T. I like, oh, I, like I said, suck at years. I suck at years too, Bob. And I suck at artists and titles of the songs, but I know how to sing them. <laughs> well, I know how to sing them with my lyrics. I don't know if I know how to sing the proper lyrics. What are you doing? Are you looking at porn no. while we're playing this game? <laughs> wow! Okay. I'm like, I'm going to be traumatized. I'm like, I don't oh, have enough calling backwards. All right, here we go. I don't even know that song. That's all you. I have you. no idea. Wait, is that all they played? Yeah. 10 seconds? Not even 10 seconds. Does anybody know that song? I would say that's in the 88. I'll go with 88. I don't know who sings it. I don't know the name of the song, and I've never heard it before in my life. Yeah. So let's go with in between 87 and 2000. Yeah, let's just go with that because that's a good little area. Yeah, so good to win. We We're going to put it in between 1987 and 2011. Yeah. It's somewhere in that bracket. Yeah. And they said 2000. Wolf only knows his song, Hungry Like a Wolf. <laughs> I love that song, actually. That's a good song. You couldn't hear it? Here, one more time. Michael's going to play it for you one more time, you guys, for those of you guys who didn't hear it. You ready? <laughs> Is 
It's Def Moby. When did Def Moby come out? 2002, Rabola? We have two 2000s and 2002. Well, either way, we're still okay. good. We're still good. Ooh, 1999. Woo! All right. All right. Michael, for uh, knowing a lot of music, <clears throat> you better get on the game. All right. All right. Ready? It's our turn for you, right? All right. Give me something I know. <laughs> that would be too easy, right? Sure. All right. Ready? Uh -huh. Who sings this song? Name that tune, you guys. Who sings that? Let's do two two sections, so we okay. can not get it mixed up. So where are you going to put it? I want to say 1999. Okay, so 1999. What do you guys think in the chat? And Oasis. Oasis. Okay. Oasis. Wonderwall. What year, guys? What year? 1998. You said what's the one? 19. 19? You said 1999. What do you think? I think maybe 2000. 2000 is early love in here what year is this early love if you're still in here anybody else want to give a shot nancy says 1995 oh early loves if i heard it i turned it off oh what song was that the previous one remember to like share and subscribe 1996 you think you said 99 right mm -hmm. and you said what 90 what she said 2000, 2000. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 2002. I think it's before that though. I think actually, I'm gonna go with 1998. Okay. I don't know, 1998, let's see. 1995, oh! you missed it. Oh my uh, God. She missed it, he missed it by one year. Woo, that's, woo. We're kicking ass, all right. All right, ready? It's you're, you. You got to take ours. All right, here you go. All right, guys. Name the artist, the song title. I don't, get out of this. I don't know. The song title. I don't get up. Just go to the this one like that. I don't know. Oh, close. oh, oh there was a close. All right. Artist, <laughs> song, title, and year. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? It's probably 1920s or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Shit, no. It's Rhonda's other favorite song. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my, my God, God, that is not my favorite song. That's, is, isn't that, what's his name? Justin Beaver. Beaver? It's the 2000, right? 2000. Baby, 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 baby. Oh. She knows it. It's her favorite song. So what year is it? I don't know. 2000 something. Baby, 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 no. Was it that one of his first songs? Yeah, it's his first song. All right, what year, guys? What year? 2011. Buzz Bunny, Mel Blanc, 2006. I'm done. All right, what year, guys? What year? Well, I'm putting it between 1999 2011, and 2011, 2000. Okay, wait, which one are you putting it? Between 99 and Okay, we're going to put it some somewhere between 1999 and 2011. I'm going to go with 2005. What are you going to go with? 2000, he's like 30 something. He was like 12. He was young. He was like 16, wasn't he, when he started? He's not young. Is he 30 already? Yeah, How is he 30? 30? No. Time. Justin Bieber's 30? I think, I don't know. I, I don't well, I guess it's been like 14 years. Which 2015. one? 2015. Dang, oh. I was 10 years off. 
up, y'all. I get that. You <laughs> did. Miguelito won. High five with your, with your, um, what do you call it? I gotta do this. With one. your anonymous friend. What do you call those things? Like your imaginary friend. High five with your imaginary friend. Ready? Go. High five. <laughs> High five like this. I'm dead. They didn't even see me all there. All right. 2010. Oh, man. I said 2005. Yeah. All right. Ready? Is this mine? I mean yours. I mean ours. Okay, ready? No, this is. You took the wrong one. Oh, this one's a. Oh no! Wait a second. Wait, so wait. I was closer. Then we win because it's 2010. And okay, we now you can unfive with your imaginary <laughs> friend and we get ready. Okay, I was only five years off now. See, I was like, wow, I was really 10 years off, but no, I was only five. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Just let's make sure that the, like, it's only one. And, like, only okay, one. so wait, are you doing mine and we're doing yours? No, I just did. Uh, are yeah. you trying to be a cheater beater? You got to do. No, you're doing my card. So. Yeah, I'm doing his card. Okay, ready? It's only one, right? I know, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Put your listening ears on. What is all this? this is personal fitness. What is this? We sex? Do not want to know your personal fitness. What is this calorie intake? How did we end up on a no. calorie intake? Hipster came up with a Michael, calorie intake. 120 is way too low for you. I'm no. dead. 120 no. calories per no, day? No, 120 pounds. No. <laughs> no. No. Calories or pounds. Either I, one is way too low. I will never make that. You need to be on at least a 2,000 calorie yeah, diet, diet per day. At least. Minimum. But with you and your size, probably like more than 3,000. You cut down on at least 1,000 or 2,000 calories per day. All right. Ready? All right. Ready? Oh, I like the song. All right, guys. Ready? Hi, Lizzie. How are you? Good to see you. Okay. Don't Google it. Guess, you guys. Don't take Guess. the fun out of it. Guess. 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 You guys want to know the name of the song, the artist, and what year it came out. Ready? Hi, Danny P. Ready? Go. Is that Maroon 5? No. Take that money and watch it burn. Take that money and watch it burn. Which one? Which one? Wait here, guys. Who sings it? Name of the song. I know it's One Republic. Name of the song. One Republic. One Republic. Okay. What is the name of the song, guys? And what year did it come out? Okay, here. Okay, Miguelito, what year? I'm thinking 2015. Okay, so you put it. So put it right here after. afterwards. So oh god, like you're living on the wild side. Living on the edge. One Republic, mm -hmm. 2013, Counting Stars. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, what's up, Vegas Rebel? How are you? Good to see you. All right. Good job. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see who's right. Thirteen. 2013. You, right. you said 2013. You guessed 2013. Fifteen. 15. 15. Good job. Just kidding. <laughs> you okay. got to you got to high five with your imaginary friend. Yes, All right. Okay, it's our turn, you guys. Counting stars, one republic. So name the artist, the title of the song, and the year it came out. Ready? Is it another one of the songs I like? Right. Shit, Ron, this is Ron. It's her favorite song. It's My your favorite, favorite song? song. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> No. <laughs> what are you trying to say? She's I'm like, old. Like, are you trying to say she's what, older than Tony? What are you trying to say? I'm the blue you. Bayou. I think it's blue what, Bayou. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, when you're a little girl, you try to look them. Okay, when I was a when little she was, girl, she was singing French songs. I lived Nothing. in Paris, and I did not listen to that song because I don't think I've ever heard that song before. <laughs> I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> Oh my, you need to stop drinking the Modelo. Okay? I know, he, he spilled <laughs> half of it too, but he's still drunk. <laughs> All right, Rhonda, what do you say? What do you girls say? Okay, Blue Bayou, Here. I would say 19... 
60. Mm. So between 20 and 60 or 60? A 61. I'm going to say 61. I'm going to okay. say right here. All right. Okay. Let's see if what we got you? it right. 1961. Uh, Blue Bayou. Looking? Oh, it's Linda Ronstadt in 1974. Ooh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see. 1975. So we have a 75. I said, what did I say? 61? <laughs> yeah, you're ready to go. 77. Oh, that was the year I was born. Oh, we won. Anyways, woo! <laughs> All right, we got it. All right. I'll do yours, Michael. Let's go. All right. Oh my god, I used to like this song when I was a kid. Oh, Just kidding. <laughs> but I was I, I used to like this song last year. That's not last year. <laughs> I used to like it last it's year and right. the last year. <laughs> Let's get it. Alright, ready? Oh my god. Come on, baby. Little bit of rhythm and it might have so come on, come on, do the locomotion. Is it like the Marvelettes or something like that? Or Mar Marvelettes? Or... Who sings it, guys? Name of the song, who sings it in what year? I want to say the year is 1959. 59. That's the card. Wow, I wasn't even thought of yet. I wasn't even thought of. You said 1959? What's the, what year do you think? Mm, come 61. on, come on, do the locomotion with me. Or is that the show? I would say 1971. That's what I'm going to go with. 71. Remember, I told you about... Ka yeah. Reread it. Wait, Kylie Minogue, remember to... Yeah, wait, let me... Yeah, we just, we just went to Madonna's concert the other night and mm -hmm. Kylie Minogue was there. Performing with Madonna. Uh, wait, what did she just say? Jedi, I don't see your, your thing. Locomotion 1968. Uh, what is it? Lurdle Eva? Is that who sings it? Dang, these people are smart. Are you guys Googling this shit? You guys are smart. 1962. Was it in the 60s? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. My parents' music. Was that our mm -hmm. card or your card? My it's this card. But did we win? 62. Uh, he won. He won. You can high five with your imaginary friend. Kylie Minogue read. Uh, yes. Okay. I remember. She was singing Locomotion yes. at Madonna concert. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did yeah. Did you watch my Madonna thing? No, but I, I remember Kylie Minogue um, singing that song. How did you call her? <laughs> I did. She I said, said, her name was she Kelly, said Kelly, Kelly Minogue. <laughs> Is it Kelly Minogue or Kelly it's Minogue? It's Kylie. Kylie. Isn't it Kylie? Yeah. Kelly. Or Kyle. You no. said Kelly. Kelly and Kylie are two different names. I don't know. I thought it was Kelly and Nog, but. No. Oh, maybe it is Kelly. I don't know. Maybe Kelly. I'm saying it wrong. Oh I don't know. I say it the French way. Leave me it's alone. Kylie. Exactly. Please. In, in French, you say, say Kylie, Kelly? Kelly, yeah. Okay. Kelly. Oh, I'm learning. All right. Yeah, they, they were singing that. You're right, Jetta. They sing it together. Mm -hmm. Madonna and yeah. Kylie, whatever. Ky Kylie, whatever. Kylie, Kelly. Wait, so you got to keep that card, Miguelito? Yes. We're still kicking your ass. Okay. Just wanted to, I just wanted to inform you. Hey, casino? All right, guys. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Yeah, it's our yeah, turn. Yeah. All right, guys. Name the artist, title, and the year. Ready? Begin. Yeah. You can't press play? Are you having, are you having issues? No more? No more Magello. Clearly she knows this song. You know this song? It's all you. I've never heard this song before. That's a 70s song. Oh, it, would, it must have been before my time. Go ahead. I was born in 77, so I would go with 72. Like, like, I'm, like, we're two years apart. Like, don't, don't. Before don't, my time. Like I said, before like my I'm time. So I don't know. That's Please. before my time. What do you guys think? What year? Um, I think it's female. Oh. And then, yeah, I think it's 1970. 
I never heard. Yeah, see, me and Rob are like lost. 1970 something, so I think we. Let's we go with 72. Between 60 and 70, 77. 77? Yeah. Well, we'll take a chance. I was born in 77, I think it's before my time. And if it's after my time, I'm just gonna Whatever. go hide in the bathroom she, or something. She's old. All right. Miguelito well, with the said. deep cuts, they said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds like Studio 54 music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1976, yeah. early 11. Is that what you think? All right. What year, you guys? What year? What year? What year? What year? What year? Let's let's give them a second to get the years in. Rhonda, I'm 77, baby. Two. See, Rapala, I knew you and I were on the same page. You're right, Jetta. Jetta said what year? Um. Sounds like Studio 54. 54. That's where we need to go to the. Nancy baby. says 78. Okay, what did I say? 72. 78. Oh, 78. Nancy oh, was right. My God. Oh my God. No. Oh, we were off by one year. Michael, that's not fair. Give it back. <laughs> Jesus. We said give it back, Miguelito. Give it back. Disco for sure? Oh my God, you guys, I'm so hot. I'm being like, I, I'm surrounded by these hot, sexy beauties. I'm on fire over here. Okay. All right. This is Miguelito's, you guys. Was that a disco song? I didn't know that yeah, song. Yeah, it is a disco song. Where All right. have you been crawling under a rock? All right, ready? Don't look. All right, name the artist, the title of the song, and the year. Ready? Go. It was Post Malone. Yeah. How do you say no? How do you know? I don't know. It doesn't sound You're like You're questioning me, Miguelito. It doesn't sound like Post Malone. Play Mr. Criminal. We can't play a song. It's just like so whatever comes out. where are you putting in? Wait, which one okay. is it? What I'm, are you putting in? What year? I'm going like way down here. This is going to be... Down here? Two. What do you mean way down here? What is what way down here? After 2013. After two, it's okay. gonna, I want to say it's like. Okay, you can put it after 2013. I want to say it's like. Put it, like, uh, put it right here. What year, guys? 2021. Post Malone, White Iverson. No. It's not 2020. It's before. No, no, no. Don't be looking on the screen. It's between. You do it. It's between 2010. There's only and one 2020. answer. So, what's the verdict? Let me hear it again. All right, ready? I need to screen it again. All right, ready? Here. 2017, 2018, 2016. What's the name of the song? White Iverson. It is close to me. I'm going to say 2019. She says 2019? Yeah. Yes. Oh, All right, flip it. it. Flip it. 2015. Oh, you still won, though. 2015. Yeah. High five your imaginary job. friend. Go, go, go. His imaginary friend must be sitting on his forehead because he keeps it in his head. <laughs> Man, that sounds old. Oh my god. I hit that like button, right? Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> He's all, he hits himself in the head all the time. All right. Name the artist title and the year. Okay, I Let's dedicate go. this song to Rhonda. Oh god, what is it? Bump and grind? <laughs> It was in Shrek. Yeah, I know. Um, when I saw her face, I saw now her face. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Not a trace. The things are harder. Or doubt in my mind. I don't know. I'm so bad with artists. I'm in love. I would not believe her. I would not believe her if so, I tried something like um, that. Between 60 and 77? I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. What Let's year should we that. say though? Um. What year, guys? What year did that come out? Sixty-nine. I was saying sixty-six. You like that number sixty-nine, huh? Didn't you say that earlier? No. Well, okay. let's not get personal. If I had a guess, I'd say sixty-six. You say sixty-six? 
I'll go with like 67 because I was born in 77. So let's go with 67. Six oh, you're right! 66! But we won. Woo! Okay. <laughs> yeah, 69, she said. It was it was 66, 1966. Is Miss Michelito calling Ronde a monkey? Why were you calling me a monkey? Because <laughs> you like monkeys. No, you like monkeys. I like monkeys. All right. All right, ready? Name the song, the artist, and the year. Ready? We're Go. Country. She's all country, my mom. You know country music? Some of them. Oh, We're trying to get the answers off of here? Yes. Please, God. Oh, wait, because it's his turn, right? I don't do country. Thank God for people in my chat not knowing country. What if I couldn't even snap my fingers? Do the step? I couldn't even snap. How come my snap is not working? I used to know how to snap. I think I can't snap because of my nails. You lost your snap. Remember? The step and snap your fingers. No, no. What is the it? Snap. Bend. Bend and snap. Bend. 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 And snap. <laughs> you guys remember that? You gotta stop. Bend and snap. Michael spreads his arms wide. He's like snapping a little bit. Snap your fingers. Do the step. You can do it all by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Wait, why are you giving that to yourself? Did you cheat? Wait, where did you yeah. put it? Oh, wait, where are you putting it? Oh, you said after 2015. They said do a duet. <laughs> Luke Combos. I love that movie, Legally Bond. It's a good movie, I right? Know. I love her. All right. Mm -hmm. Bend and, and snap. snap. <laughs> no kidding. All right. Ready? 2000. What year do you think that came out, guys? Anybody in the chat know the year? I say 2018. Michael says 2018. What year do you guys think that last song came out? Huh, don't all respond at once. I guess we don't have very many country music singers. <laughs> I know. Not they singers, but uh, fans in here. Do you guys need to hear it one more time just to be sure? You said 2000 what? 18. 18. What, song, what year do you think? 13. 18. 18, 13. The year 1813. I'm going to go with 2016. 18, I'm going to go with 2016. Okay. All right, All right go. Turn it. Ah, 2018. Who was right? Bob. Bob. Good job. Our Good whiskey job, glasses Bob. like beer goggles. Oh, yeah, that's the song, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was whiskey glasses. Good job. All right, ready? Black songs. Name the song. Artist, oh, I love and the song. Oh, then I probably don't know it. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Ready? There you go. Oh, love train. Get on the road. Hey, everybody, all the Ronda's roadies. Get on the road. Join mm her. -hmm. Start a love train. This is, I would be to say between 60, 66 and 77 is our biggest gap. All right. Or we could do 1960 to 66. What year? 66 to, okay, we're going to go between 66 to 66. 77. What year do you guys think? 72? You said 71? Yeah, I said 71. I'll go with 1970. Let's just make it a mm, even 70. Okay. Okay, Love Train, the OJs. All right. 72. Woo! Woo! All right. Good job. Okay. All right, Miguelito. Oh shit! You saw it. No, I was looking at no, no, no. We're gonna pick another one. You saw that one. I was in it. I swear. Okay. Well, I swear. I I flipped it over and you could have saw it. Okay. Ready? Next one. Ready? Name the artist. Title. I'll give you a hint. This person performed in Las Vegas on Fremont Street. Ready, guys? Let's go. I seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. This person here? Yeah. She performed for free in Vegas. Who's got it, 
guys. Who's the artist? What's the song? What year did it come out? Let's go. It's 2000. Maybe 19. No? I would say 2020. I was going to say. Yeah, it's Billy Ellis. Oh, is that Billy Ellis? Uh huh. What? Wow. What year? Well, she's fairly new. She's only got two albums out, so. I would say even I want maybe, to say 2020. I would okay. say even maybe a little bit later than 2020. I would say even 2021. Okay. Because right. I thought that she she performed after I started live streaming. She but, performed free on the free uh, Yeah, but, but it was yeah, before I, I even knew who she was. Yeah. So I think it was like 2021. Where was I at? That she performed in, in Vegas. I have some of them. Nancy says 2019. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. She that song might have been out before. 2019. Oh, 2019. Good Nancy, job. okay, okay. I think she. I wonder. Somebody look it up and see what year she performed in Las Vegas. I think it was after 2019. I still like the Shaggy concert. Yeah, yeah well, Shaggy's performed down there twice that I know of so far. All right, ready? Do you know any uh, Romanian yeah. female singers? No, no, I don't. No. She might, but I don't. No, I don't. I need uh, some. Good song, guys. All right, let's go. Let's see. I'll be away. Oh, man. This was just not that long ago, huh? Oh, no, this song. To the good old days. I thought it was a different song at first. Okay. What year did this come out, guys? Ooh, I don't know. Can turn back time to the good old days. What year? Definitely in the 2000s sometime. Not in the 90s and not in the 80s and not in the oh, 70s. Man. I would say 2000 and... How many years ago was that? 16? 18? I don't know. That the song came out? Mm-hmm. 2016 or 18? I'm going to let Nadesh come back and choose out of time. What is it? 21 Pilots Stressed Out. Is that the name of the song? Hi, Danny. Let them guess the title and song, but not the year because... 2015? No, they're not. There's 10 answers in here. How do I know which one? 2018, yes, 2015. <laughs> 2015, 2007. What are we? Okay, play that song. Can you turn back time to the good old days? That song. Oh, you know what song that is? Mm. I say either 2016 or 18. I guess I say 2017. I stuck with yours too, Danny P. So, is it? So, if you do 2010, 17. But if it came out on 2018, I think it was like around 2018. That only gives us two years leeway. So, we have a choice of putting it between 2010 to 2017, or, or we could do 2017 to 2019. Should we risk? Risk it. Risk it. Mm. I don't think it was all the way till 2016, though. Yeah. That wasn't that long ago, was it? Huh? But, you know, time flies so know. much. So it's much like, dang, that shit came out that long ago? I don't know. I'm going to let you be the decision maker. Oh, I don't want to be... Really? I don't want to say we lost because of Rhonda. We definitely <laughs> lost because of Nadesh. So, yeah, sure. Like, I mean, or we won because of Nadesh. One of the two. Um... You guys look at her phone. Isn't this case so cute? I just saw it tonight. I've never seen your case before. It's really cute though. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Um, it was pre-pandemic. Well, yeah, I, we, yeah, we figured that much, but we're, I'm thinking maybe it's 2018, but we have only two years to go off. Actually, 17, 18, or 19. We have three years to go off of 
if we put it in between 17 and 19 or we have a bigger gap which is 2010 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 we have eight years gap I mean, it's so hard it's not 87 it was after 87 for sure yeah it was definitely after 1987 2001 <laughs> do you know the year and you're trying to like yeah you saw the year so you're trying to like, said guide us in the wrong direction i said 2017 I'm gonna let's go with 2010 to 17. What do you think? Okay, 2010 to 17. I think it's 2018 though. Oh my god, I'm so scared. No, you make the decision. You make okay, the decision. Make the decision. It's okay. in between, right here. Right, All right, right let's there. go. Right there. Let's. Go. All right, let's see if we let's see if we got it. Woo! It's 2015. I said 2016 or 18. I wasn't sure. Right, Don't be sad, Michael. Don't be sad. All right, Don't ready? Be sad. Don't be sad. Okay, ready? Wait, is this yours? I don't know if I know this song. Let's see. This isn't rap. You don't know it. <laughs> Name the artist. Song and year. Wolf doesn't know music. He can name candy by looking at it. <laughs> Wolf knows every sweet. I've never even heard that song before. All right, guess what year? The Spice Girls. That no, is I definitely not the Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. I'm gonna go about 1993. You're gonna go with 1993. Okay. All right, guys. Everybody in the chat, who sings it? What year? 1989, Simple Minds, Simple Minds, Nancy, 1989. Okay, anybody else have a guess on the year? Don't flip it yet. Anybody else have a guess on the year? I think it's this one, huh? I don't know. Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. Nope, Nancy's got the right band, you guys. It is Simple, Simple Minds. Minds but... And the song is called Belfast Child. And it's in what year? Miguelito, flip it over. Flip it over. Flip it. 1989. Oh, Daisy, you, sir. Thank Daisy you, got sir. it right. Thank you, sir. Who else? Did Nancy get it right too? Let's see. Nancy got it right, and Daisy got it right. Good job, guys. Damn. Thank you, sir. Yay! Woo! All right. All right. Next one. It's getting tight in early years. We don't have a lot of leaves. Why is she getting the easy ones? How does it how do you necessarily say it's easy? Oh, this is what you sing. Oh wait, are we good? It's gotta come closer. I'm gonna say 1843. <laughs> 1843. No, this was it's the 80s, right? Yeah, I would say it's the 80s. My daughter was born in 96, so it came out before then. Okay, when did the Kevin Costner Whitney Houston movie come out? Uh, it was in that movie. But I got that one autographed though. Okay, wait. Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston came out in the what, what was the name of that movie? The Bodyguard. Oh, The Bodyguard. The Bodyguard is the oh, 80s. Oh, is it the that's bodyguard? an 80s movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not the one I got autographed. The eight that's the 80s movie, right? The one I got autographed is Whitney Houston. Let's so. go with I moved to I moved to Diamond Bar, I think in nineteen eighty nine. Right? No, maybe it's an early 90s movie then. Yeah. I, it might be an early 90s movie. I moved to Diamond Bar, I think. Oh, wait. Maybe I moved in 85. No, I think it was there in 89. How old would I have been in 89? Somebody, quick, do the math. <laughs> 22. Okay. Yes, the bodyguard. I was not 22 in 1989. Are you smoking all kinds of crap? No, 12. Oh, Sorry. Dang. No, I would. Okay, no. Uh, that had to have been an early 90s movie then. Was it early 90s? I would say early 90s. Okay, put it down. I'm going to say early 90s. Let's go with 89 to 95. Five. I'm going to go with 19. I moved to Diamond Bar in 1989. I was in 1990. And I graduated from high school in 95. So it definitely was 90. Three. I'm going to go with 92. What year? 
No, you what? <laughs> God, I love, I love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love, love it. it. All right. Whitney Houston, I will always love you. 1993. It was 1992, guys. Good job. What's up, Lance? How you been? All right. Ready? Let's go. Oh, shit. The glare on this thing is too much. All right. All right, this is your future baby's time. Let's <laughs> get ready. Name the artist and the title and the year. Ready, go. I like the song. Okay. Is this my card? This is your card. Put it where you think it goes. This is a okay. good song. <clears throat> what a feeling. Michael's over here is falling asleep Damn. on Modelo. <laughs> See Hold something. On. Which one? I'm gonna stick right there to let her go. He's gonna okay. go. He's gonna go with the I white. I wanna say gap. 1982. Okay. He's gonna say 1982. What year, you guys? 1983. Irene Cara. What a feeling. What a feeling. Any other guesses, guys? Jennifer Warrens. 1981. Early love said. Are you sure? Flash dance. What's up, Super Sport? How are you? Flashdance is the correct answer. Yes, what a feeling is the name of the song. And Irene Cara is the correct artist. What year, you guys? What year is it? Let's listen one more time so you guys can really know what the feeling is. <laughs> what a feeling. Guess your answers. Put your answers down there. 84. Don't tell them the answer. Don't tell them the answer. 83, 84. I thought 82. Make it happen. Dance till morning. 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 Hold on. What year? You said what year? 82. He said 82. Let's go. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. 83. It was 1983, you guys, was the correct answer. 19? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm like having a back She's snitching her butt. No, <laughs> I'm having a back pain. Oh my gosh. Okay. Too funny. Here's ours. So uh, you got it? Yeah, I keep it. I'm yep, you got it. All right, Michael got, got it. it. Um, can that Nadesh lean, lean back and Mikey pour a jug of water over her, please. I'm dead. <laughs> like in flash dance. They did that in flash dance. <laughs> yes. What a feeling. My God, my back hurts. Your back Dude, hurts? she took my stack of cards. What? Jesus Christ. Dude, this should Calm be my down. stuff. Calm well, down. you didn't spill beer everywhere. <laughs> Dude, this is for me. I, I'm taking this card. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ready, no. go. What's the song? Ready? Splash dance. And the play is gonna hate, 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 hate. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it up, shake it up. 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 2010 to 2015. Mm. So Taylor Swift, shake it off. Is it between 2017 2019 or 19? Or 2015 to 2017 or 2019 to 2024? <laughs> mm. um, shake it, shake it off was definitely more than a year ago. So, so it's not 23. After uh, I would say after 2019, but I'm not sure. I would say it's before the pandemic. Sorry, don't you think it's before the pandemic we were shaking it off before the pandemic okay this is what i remember 
I remember there was a, a police officer that was in a car and he was recording himself. Remember, mm -hmm. um, singing the song. Does everybody remember this? Mm -hmm. Um, he was, he was caught on video cam mm -hmm. shaking it off in the car and, and, and being a Swifty. Remember mm -hmm. that? <laughs> I think he was shaking it off before the pandemic. So what year I would you say, say between 2017 and 2019, okay. but I don't want to be wrong. Okay. So I'll let you, you I'll let you, I'll let you, what I'm year did you say? I don't know. I, I would say 2020, but I'm not sure. Well, but. I know this is one of her earlier songs. And I'm going to say right here. Okay. Okay. And she's 30 now, and she's been singing music since she was like 16. So yeah. I want to say Just like, like Justin Bieber, are they the same age? I want, I want to say maybe like. What year do you guys think? Yes, it was 2014. 2000. I did say pre-pandemic though, y'all. I did say that much. Did I not say okay, pre-pandemic? Yeah, you said. All right. Well, Miguelito, you were not supposed to take our shake it off song. I know. It but what? In my category. All right. Next song, guys. Name the artist, title, and year. This is a good one for Michael. He, mm -hmm. He's gonna love this one. Ready? Thank you, sweet. How do you know this song? I don't think Michael's ever heard this song before. Oh, what year is it now? 2024. Well, she clearly knows this song. I've never heard of it in my life. You'll be playing songs in the bathroom I've never heard of before yeah, in my life. I don't know that song either, so I have to say it's fairly oh. newer. That's why I knew he was going to love this song, because I knew he would. He didn't know it. I'm going to... Hi, Sri. How are you? Nelly Furtado? Furtado? I probably said... It's it? not Nelly Furtado. No. But it does sound... I'll give you that much. It does sound like Nelly Furtado. I'm going to say 2023. Okay. 2023? Know. All right, anybody in the chat have a guess? Okay, the name of the song is Put Your Records On. It's by Corinne or Corinne Bailey Ray. Put Your Records On. Nelly Furtado. Nelly Furtado must have sang it too, but that's not who's actually singing the song, you guys. It is Corinne Bailey Ray. All right. That's to be newer. All right. So, what year, you guys? What year do you think that came out? Two thousand and six, two thousand and eight. Michael, what did you say? Two thousand twenty-three. All right. He says two thousand twenty-three. Let's go, Carman Ray. Okay, let's go. Two thousand and six. Two thousand and six. Who said two thousand and six? Daisy. Good I job. Good job, Daisy. Song. Daisy. Ooh, Bob Sigmund, you're off by two years. Ooh, Nancy was right on too. Good job, Nancy. Here's ours. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. All right. Dude, we're shuffling these and redealing. <laughs> this is not cards. Ah, uh, TLC. Go chasing waterfalls. I was meant to lose today. The rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving. This is definitely in the early 90s. I would say I graduated in 95. I think it came back. I came out before I graduated, I think. I remember watching it on MTV. When my mom wasn't home, I wasn't allowed to watch MTV when she was there. She would turn that shit off. She would always tell me. All right, let's see. I would say 2000 and I don't know why my mom bought MTV if I couldn't watch it. You know, I wasn't. Michael, do you, do you have a vibrator stuck up your ass? You are shaking so much. Okay, um, 2000. Oh, let's see. I think it was after 1993. I'm going to go with 1994. You think it was after I graduated? Shit, when did these waterfalls start going? 
-hmm. I think I would say 19, I, I moved out by, I was out of the house by 1996 or 95. No, 96. No, 95. I moved out of the house in 1995. That shit was on before 1995. I'm going to go with 1994. Final answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm going to go with 1994. Okay, what is it? I don't know. 1995. Ah, 1995. Oh. I moved out in 1995. So. So what happens if you? It, it, we, we're good. We're good. Because we're not. Together. I was gonna say 1994. I moved out in 1995. So it, it happened before I moved out. Sure. I was close though, right? I was yep. close. Oh, All right. Oh, I moved out when I was 17 years old out of the house. I lived on my own since I was 17 years old, guys. All right. Ready? All right. This song is so easy. Okay, Michael. Come on. I know you're searching for this. Ready? Michael is searching for this. Ready? All right. Name the artist, title, and the year. What is what is going by Hathaway? I want to say... <laughs> I'm gonna love vibrator. What's up, Rainbow Disney? Okay, what is, away, love? what is love? Baby, I'm gonna say it's 1993. Don't hurt me no more. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. No more. Cause I, ha I have that CD. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hideaway, what is love, 1993. Right away, what is Hideaway. love? 1993, you say? What do you guys say in the chat? What year do you guys think it is? What is it? You have it in there? 1993? What year do you say? Um, I don't know. Um, 1992, I think. 1993? Nancy is pretty on point. Yeah. And so is Daisy. So. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's flip it. 1993. I got it. Oh, wait, wait. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. We have five more. All right. We that got five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then it's a wrap. Twelve, fifteen. All right. All right. Five more minutes. Okay, let's make this one a hard one. one. All right. You said let's make it a hard one? one. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> she said that's what they say. I'm dead. Mm. All right. Is this easy or hard? It might be a little on the difficult. I'll be for the first time. I'm so Again and again and again and again. Oh. All right. Yeah. So Kelly Clarkson. Let's see. Right? I would say. Look at no, 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 no. I lost my house in 2008. So she became an American Idol winner before 2008. So, but what was her first song though? So we can put it- That between, wasn't her first song that she sang. We can put it, I don't know. Do you want to put it between 1999 and 2006 or 2006 and between and 2010? 2001, 2000? It's a 2000 song, right? I would say 2000. What year was two? What what year? How old was I in 2006? Let's see, 2008. Wasn't I like 31 or something like that? Somewhere around there. I don't even know. I'm just guessing. Uh, 1999 to 2006 or 2006 to 2010? Mm, I would Ooh, say I don't know. I'm thinking 2006. Mm. I think it's early 20, 2000 and early 20s. I mean, 2000. I'm having a stroke right here. Don't have a stroke. Uh, wow. What year do you guys think? Oh, Moment in Time was her first one. 
A moment, oh, a moment like this, not a moment in time. A moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. Oh, so yep. That was, no wait, that was her first song. That happened before 2008. Let's okay, let's go. She had to have had it. 2004. Woo! <laughs> let's go. Can I do CPR? Bob said. I'm dead. CPR? I'm dead. First stroke. First stroke. <laughs> you need to rush them to Irvine. Certain hospitals. All right, ready? Let's go. All right, who sings this? Artist? <laughs> he said first stroke. Ready, go. Michael, you don't know this song, do you? I know of it. Who sings this song? It's like one of the earliest MTV videos. Oh, I do know this song. I do know you know this I song. I don't know I've never the mind. artist, but I'm going to say it is. What's up, East Texas? Tom, I'm what going is this like right here. A dire street? Dire, dire street, yes. Tom and Carr, welcome. East Texas, Tom and, and Candy. I want to say it's like right there. It's like right there? I like it when you do me right there. <laughs> Isn't that the song? I like the way you do me right there. Yeah, that's a song. I don't know. Your How version you is not ringing your bell. You don't know that song? What? I like the way you do it right there or something like that. Oh, something, that's something. Oh, see, he knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> see? So you are a type of you, you have a, Yeah, I mean, you, you have a closer connection. Sure. <laughs> no, we just listen to the... Not closer connection. We just <laughs> listen to the same type of music. Uh, All right. Walk of life. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What year are we doing? I said 80. 80 what? I want to say like 83, but maybe 84, 83, 84. What time, what time do you say? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, too. Like, no clue. Uh, Good tunes. Thanks, y'all. Oh, anytime. Go ahead. Flip it. Let's Flip see if he's right. 85. 85. 85. Hey, high five your imaginary friend. Ready? Go. I'm dead. <laughs> it's imaginary friend moved to his stomach. <laughs> that shit sounded hollow as fuck. It's all boom. All right, ready? All right, our turn, you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for okay, joining. She's Smash, that thumbs up. This one. Smash that thumbs up if you haven't yet. Finally, yeah, the hard you. one shows up. All right, ready? A hard one. Thank God, come on. All right, Nadesh, this one's all you. To be wild. This is before to be wild. Definitely before my daughter was born. <laughs> so before 1996. Uh, I was born in 1977. So I said I was born to be wild. I'm going to go in 1977. I don't know. I don't know. I, you don't know? Come on, Nadesh. Were you living in the United States yet when it happened? No. Oh. Um, born to be wild. I don't know. Who, what year do you guys think? 68? 68? 64? Think? Oh, it was the 60s, you guys? That was a song from the 60s? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'll let Nadesh decide this one. Um, Wait, it's ours, right? To yeah, place? Uh, I'm going to no, say sometime before no. 1977. Sometime before I was born. So, 66 to 72? All right. That's what we're going to go with. Um, I don't know. R, 62? You were born in 75? Yeah. Was it before your time? I have no idea. Was it before your time? Well, you were born 75 too? 72. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's 72. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Well, I guess. What does everybody what say? What do people think? Drunk? drunk. I'm drunk? Okay. Drunk. Danny P's drunk. Yay, Danny P! <laughs> <laughs> if you're home. Okay. Hey, Debaldi. How are you? Debaldi, what year did that come out? 68! Woo! See, All right. I'm going to start going by what they're saying. 
Why? Because that you guys are changing your mind because you're watching. No, that. I said I was born in '77. Yeah, so but she wasn't then. really thinking I, about the I '60s know. until they said so. I know it was. There was a lot of different '60s, things. but I wasn't sure which one. I was like, it's between. Okay, here your turn. All right, ready? Oh wait. Ready? Go. You're gonna love this one. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Isn't it funny that I know which one she's not gonna know? <laughs> Is it your favorite? It's your favorite, right? I've never heard that. This is Michael's favorite song. Mm -hmm. Who sings this song? Artist, title, and year, guys. Which one? Artist, title, and year. What year do you want to go? Put it, place it. Place it. This guy's falling asleep while listening to music. <laughs> He's going to go between 1985 and 1991. Okay. The World of the Moon, The Water Bees, oh, Water Boys. Yeah, The Water Boys, yes. Yeah. All right. Flip. Flip it. Flip it. 1985. Good job. Good job. Ooh, ooh. Let's go. All right, here. It's already passed. I gotta do this again. The glare, glare. yeah, the glare is bad on it. After this one, we're gonna each do one more and then that's a wrap, yeah. okay guys? Cause we have to call it a wrap. I don't know the song. Do you know it? Oh, give a little bit of your love to Oh, yeah, I know the song. Never mind. That's old. 70s? Let's go between 72 and 77 because we have more of a okay. leeway than 77 to 79, right? Yeah. I would say it's in the 70s. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to go with 72 to 77. What do you guys think? 79? Oh, they said 79. 77! Was it called Super Tramp? It was the name of Super the song? Super Tramp. Uh, give, give a little bit. bit. All right. That was a good guess, right? Yeah, I know. Look at All right. You. All right. Gee, wow. All right. Next one. All right. Okay. Michael, I'm going to give you a hint. Just kidding. It's All right. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not hip hop. <laughs> No, but you do. I you do know this know band. It. You'll I know think, this band. I think you'll know it. Okay, I ready? Think you'll know it. Ready? Go. Artist title. And year. UB forty. Yes, UB forty. UB forty. I would say it's in like eighties, right? I would say, I would say late 80s. Is UB40 late 80s or early 90s? I don't know, cause oh wait, it could have been the 90s. I used to go. I'm gonna go right here. I would say. I want to say like around 95 time. Okay. Really? All right. I would have said like early, either late late 80s or early early 90s. That's what I'm gonna say. Nancy says 89. I'm gonna say yeah, late they go 80s. That way back. Yeah, I because I used to listen to UB40 like when I was young. I used to go eat at this place and that place closed. Uh, I'm trying wrong. to think. I would say in the late 80s yeah, or early, it? early 90s. Ready? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. 
86. No, we're gonna do one card each more. All right. Is it our turn now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the last round. I'm. We're gonna go, and then he's gonna go, and then that's a wrap. That's a wrap. God. Well, oh, those are his? all the freaking easy okay. ones. How is that oh. easy? Really? I, we went to their concert. Okay, Michael, we went to Wingo Tango, right? And we saw them in concert. What year was that? What year was that? Okay, it was before 2000 and... It was before 2016. It was when Bruno Mars first came out. Bruno mm. Mars was at that same concert. I was just talking about this on my one of my live streams just recently. We saw Bruno Mars at that same concert, and we saw we saw a whole bunch of people. Yeah, Maroon Five was there. Maroon Five was there. Bruno Mars. And this this band was there too. I don't care. I love it. What year was that? Tell me. I <laughs> just. <laughs> what year was that that we went to that concert? I was trying to remember if it was before I met Brandon or after I met Brandon that we went to that concert. Wow, that was, a good that was around the time where it says something something Britney bitch. Remember that song? Yes. They put, they performed at that concert too. Um Damn. What year was this? 2006. When did I live with you? 2014? Yeah. 2015. I moved with you in 2015. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know if it was before. I think it was after I met Brandon that we went to that concert. Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to say 2016. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Was it after I met Brandon? I don't know. I can't remember. I when did we go to that concert? You probably know too. This fool. All no. right. What do you guys think? Yeah. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Free Britney. <laughs> Did you guys see that that um, documentary? Okay. Uh, you guys go on there. Does anybody have a guess? 2012. Oh shit! It was before yeah. I met Brandon. See? Wow. Damn! I would have thought that it was after, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> it was my life was a blur after that. <laughs> so we just... All right. All right. Last one, guys. This is the last one of the evening. So enjoy. Hopefully it's a song Michael doesn't know. <laughs> yes. I have an idea song that I do know. Um, I don't think he knows this. Because I don't know it, so. Do you know it? No. I don't okay. Know that. Good luck, Michael. Good luck. Oh, I know this song. Once you start playing it, then I know. I like this song. It was earlier than 2016. It was a blur because I met him in 2014. So. Right in so, yeah, I was wrong about that. Okay, what's the answer? I just remember going to the concert. Answer is... Hold on, hold on, let them guess really quick. Hold on, hold on, let them guess. <laughs> All right, we have one guess, Daddy, 2007, 2000, or 1998. Bare, bare naked ladies, one week. What year did that come out, guys? Okay, air naked ladies. Oh, are naked ladies? You mean bare naked ladies? Earlier than, okay, wait. What year, guys? What year, what year? You have a drumstick and your brain keeps ticking. What do you say? <laughs> Which one? Hey, stop, stop, stop. 
Anybody? 1999? 98? Let's see who's right. It was 1998. Good job, Daisy. All right, Daisy needs to be on your team next time because guess what? We won! Woo! <laughs> All right. That second guess. <laughs> All right. That's that was fun. That was a wrap. Where's the rest well, of your cards? I have 22. How many do you have? We had more. We had more. Whatever it was, we had more. So watch. Now I'm going to pick one out of random. He's going to pick gonna, out of random. I'm going to know that song. Line from the song? Oh, is that a line from the song? I ain't, he picks, I ain't no Honda back girl. I went to that concert too. When this thing came. I ain't no Honda back girl. I ain't no Honda back girl. It's mush. It's mush. It's mush. It's mush. Gwen Stefani. Why can't mm -hmm. I get that song? Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Well, next maybe time next we'll time. use this one that's not actually being open. Oh, we should have put the ones that we didn't use with that one, but that's okay. We'll mix it all up next time. Yeah, the one that hasn't been open. Did you guys like that game? Oh. Let me know if you guys like that game. Me and the Dutch are winners. Winner, yep. winner, chicken dinner. Yep, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, oh. Ooh, it's hot. There's Winner, hot. it says winners need to RIP their shirts off. I'm dead to rip their shirts off. I'm dead. Bob, behave. Yes, Bob. Behave. This is not the only fan page. Which, which the only fans? fans. The only fans. <laughs> If you want, but that, if you want an OnlyFans, Bob will be your your subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> oh let's let's not get the dash. Think about it. We need our rent paid. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Right. I'm just playing. Think. I'm just playing. Oh my God! How do we do this? I don't know. Do Carefully, it. it's just this swelled up because I know there. Michael. Michael. Michael was touching it with his beers. I know. Oh man, did you guys like that one? Good one, but not gonna happen, Robert said. Debaldi, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Please hit that thumbs up if you can, please and thank you. And Hi guys, I it hope, was fun. I Bye. hope you, thank you so much for playing. We will have to um, figure out the rules, the real rules yeah. of the game next time. Yeah, the next time we play. I think the rules are that when we were. Uh, by the way, Ro, love your nails. Thank you so much, you guys. Bob picked out the color, y'all. Bob picked out the yeah. color. My nails. Thank you, Bob. My yeah, toes. My toes are the same color. So if you guys have a foot fetish, we can start at only foot fans. <laughs> only foot fans. <laughs> only foot fans. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them, like, take my shirt off. <laughs> uh, let's do it again soon. Did you guys like it? You're amazing, Rhonda Hunt. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. guys. I had Bye. such a wonderful day. Thank you for my special guest over here, Nevesh. And Bye. Nicolito, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I forgot. Sierra's in here. Sierra. Time. Yeah, Sierra is over here chilling. She's, she's tired from going to really. Big Bear today. <laughs> she's, she's tired. She's tired from, from hiking around Big Bear. And oh. we went to we went to Running Springs too. Was there snow or? No? Oh yeah, a yeah. lot of snow, tons of snow. Oh. Yeah. Hello, wolf gives Nadesh and Rhonda a wolf hug. Good night. Good night, Wolf Wolf. Thank you so Good much. Night. Next time we'll have guess that candy for Wolf Wolf. <laughs> guess that candy. That would be nice. All right. What I oh I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. This Wolf Wolf. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a whole bunch of candies. We're gonna read the ingredients and have you guys guess which name, which candy it is. Wolf Wolf, study for that Hi, one. Guys. Good, Good night, night. Nadesh. Good night. Thank playing. you for playing. It was fun. All right. Uh, shout out to your boy. I don't have a boyfriend, Danny P. That's just my good friend from um, when I was young. I've known him since I was nine years old. He's like my brother. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. Welcome everybody. Miguelito, come and talk to us really quick. 
So did you guys like that game if we were to play it again? Early love, did you like it? I know you like music. Packable, I guess, in Love Light went to sleep. Maybe they didn't like that game. I don't know. Or maybe they went to sleep. They were tired. I don't know. Like this one? Huh? And like that one right there. Oh, what, like Sierra? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Did you guys like it? I stumped I'm it. sorry, Nidesh? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dibaldi. Oh, okay. Sorry. No worries, Danny P. It's fine. Everybody thinks we're married. People say that all the time. Um. Anyways, so what do you guys think? Should we play it again sometime? Yes or no? Put a one in the chat if it's a yes and two in the chat if it's a no. Did you guys like it? I just like to try new games with you guys. And um, something that you guys haven't played before. Or He's a boy over. and a friend, but not a boyfriend. <laughs> unless boyfriend stands for best friend, or unless BF stands for best friend. Yeah, we're just we're just friends. Uh, so one, you guys liked it, okay? Debaldi liked it. Danny P liked it. Daisy liked it. Nancy liked it. All right, guys. What's up, Pat seventy hey, five? How's it been? Welcome. How how are you doing? We had like uh we just played the game. I don't know how many of those uh, singers were Canadian though. Can you guys guess if any of those singers were Canadian that we just did? Pat75, we just played this game. It's called Hitster. It's a music party game. And basically, you have to guess the year it came out and put it in a timeline of what year it came out compared to the cards you already have out on the table. I, I don't know the exact rules, but we made up our own kind of rules. Oh, are these the rules in the back right here? It says, one, the DJ plays a song. It says, pick a music card um and scan the qr code to automatically play it in spotify it says two position the music card it says guess when the song was released by placing it in the right position of your music timeline so i don't know how we figure out the music timeline i think everybody gets maybe five cards to start i don't know um it says if correct you will keep the music um card to build your timeline it says Three, flip the music card. So I was hanging out with this girl tonight. I like her. She's like, she likes me. One problem, she's 20 years younger than me. Am I a crappy human? No, I mean, uh, what's that one chick's name? Anna Nicole Smith married a, a guy that almost kicked the bucket. So if you're okay with her taking your money after... I mean, look at no, I'm um. Just I'm, play, I'm playing with you, Pat. Seventy-five. No, I think. Um, I think. I mean, if you fall in love with her, I mean, you fall in love with her. You know, as long as she's of age. You know what I mean. Even though I as prefer her to marry alcohol. somebody his own age, but huh? As long as she could drink. <laughs> he said, "As long as she's twenty-one, I'm <laughs> dead." Is that what you said? As long as she's twenty-one. How does the chat feel about this? Do you guys think that? There should be an age range for a guy to date a girl that's younger than him. I know most guys usually years. tend to go with girls that are younger. It's very few that go with women that are older than them. You know, not to say that they don't. But so I think it's common for guys to like younger women. But how young though, you guys? I feel like typically. I feel 20 as a man. I know, I know what Miguelito feels, but typically... I mean, like, I don't agree with your I feel 25 like, and she's... Um, well, he's my age. She's, he's like, he was born in 77 well, too, I think, right? Pat, you were born the same year as me, right? Um, like 38 and 18. Like, I feel like if you're older, like, okay, so say if you're 21 and you date somebody 20 years younger, obviously it's a problem, right? But in time like so as you get old. as you get older you mature more right i and i feel like women mature faster than men um so i feel like if you are in your 40s and mid to late 40s and you're going to date somebody younger that's like really younger that woman may not necessarily be as mature as you are like in the in the mind so i feel like typically i wouldn't personally date somebody um that's like 10 years 
younger or more. So I would date somebody maybe up to 10 years younger than me, something like that, approximately. But there's exceptions to the rules, you know what I mean? It, everybody matures a little bit differently. So what do you guys feel? Poof, I'm not mature at all. <laughs> If you're 21 and date someone 20 years younger, I would think dating a one-year-old might be an issue. That's what I said. So it depends on how old yeah, they but are. Yeah, like this. What? So how old is Michael Douglas? Yeah, and he, Catherine, Catherine Zeta Jones. Okay, he's 79. Michael Douglas is 79. Catherine Zeta Jones is what? 60? How old is she? 54? So is she 54 really? She looks. She's starting to look older than 54. Hey Siri, what is Lizzie, what did Lizzie minus say? 54 equals? Lizzie says one year old. Laughing my eyes. Oh no, I figured one year. So old. he's 25 years older than she is. I'm dead. Did you really have to do the math? Yeah. Ah, ah, you just take 79 and <laughs> minus. Okay. I'm dead. I just did it. Okay. So Michael Douglas is 25 years older than his wife. Older gals, you date for money and the house that they got in divorce. I'm dead, Bob. You really think? You really think the house that they got in the divorce? I'm dead. So you guys wouldn't date an older woman if she didn't have money or a house? Do you think she has to be well established in order to date an older woman? Um, she's just really, really nice gal. We like to kiss when we run into each other. Hey, I'm dead, Pat75. Hold this here. Clint Eastwood is age 93. You got, you, we saw him. We saw Clint Eastwood in his 80s and he looked like he was ready to die. Now watch this one. He's 93. Okay. Hey, How Siri. old is his wife? Don't tell me she's 20 something. Hey, Siri. Now that woman's going to get some money. How old is Clint Eastwood's money. wife? Is she 30 something? 58, Dina, Dina East or Dinah Eastwood, Dina. 58. And he's 93. She can't be having sex with him, can she? <laughs> I, I mean, is that like just a bit old? <laughs> Don't you think like, oh, okay. One of my exes, his, his dad, I'm sorry, not his dad, his grandpa had a kid in the 90s. And when he was in the 90s, can you imagine that? I didn't even know that was possible. What's up, Salt Lake Snow Bunny? I'm a young girl, and I like this guy named Sexy Mikey on this Rhonda <laughs> Ladies stream. I kind of look like Victoria Justice. It says, do you think I am a creepy girl for liking him? Um, <laughs> I'm banging chicks of all ages. I don't discriminate. You know what? I feel like a lot of guys, they just like younger girls. They just like it. Why? What is your reason for liking younger girls? Yeah. He, Miguelito, he likes a young, younger girl than himself because he feels like in the age of his 20s, like he didn't have a girl that was 20s. So he wants to go back to that era. But since he can't go back in time, he wants to date somebody in that age range so he could uh but he's he's like he likes taylor swift type i like a lot you like the girls with the no butts so like snow bunny do you have a booty on you <laughs> <laughs> maybe he might like you over over taylor swift it depends answer my question oh sorry bob my bad uh 26 works for me and i'm 61 but act 25, laugh and laugh, that never grow up. Like uh, it's a trap. 26 years old? 26, Bob? I don't know. I just think of my daughter. My daughter is 28. She's almost, wait, she's almost going to be 30. And I just think of like men, like Miguelito's age or whatever, trying to date a guy that's my daughter's age. I'm going to be like... Like, if my daughter brought home a man that was older, uh, I don't know. I would want her to be happy, like, who she falls in love with. But I would personally rather her date somebody that's, like, within the same, you cool. know, same, oh, yeah, <laughs> same, uh, like, era. Like, because let's just say, for example, 
um, he passes away, then she's going to be lonely. And it's, it's very known that men die faster than women, right? So if a woman is going to date an older man, it's going to be hard because we live longer. So isn't it better for a, a, a woman to date a younger man? So then they, ha they have more time together? What do you guys think? Don't mind me. This girl is in my daughter daughter range. I'm dead. Unedited. What do you feel? Tight tush? I'm dead. She says she has a tight tush. <laughs> oh my god. Miguelito's going to get all excited over here. No, I weigh about 125 pounds. That's what Salt Lake Snow... Salt Lake Snow Bay says pay attention to her instead of the temperature in... Um, and what do you call it? Big Bear. He's looking and saying that Big Bear's temperature is 26. I was looking at the weather in Dallas. Get 22-year-olds. Um, they add up to 40. Get two of them. If you get two 22-year-olds, they add up to 44. <laughs> oh, no, two 20-year-olds, he said. They add up to 40. I'm dead. So if you get two, you'll be happier. Are you guys trying to do, like, polygamy over I here? I just need one. He'll be happy with just one. Okay, what was I listening to? I think me and Drez were... Was it Drez and I listening to this? Where... Who was it that I was listening with? Where they were saying something about the women and having sex with them. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't. Brandon sent me this. Brandon sent me a... It wasn't Drez. It was Brandon. Brandon sent me a... Um, a text the other day saying that it was a Nigerian doctor and <laughs> he was saying that uh, he said finally a doctor that believes that, like that um, like it helps other men like it, I guess it was a guy saying that they had to have sex at least 27 times in a month's time Damn. if not they were more prone to having prostate problems and cancer and so they said, you better treat your woman really good if she's going to give it to you 27 times in a, in, a, mm -hmm. in a month, right? And then the doctor said, well, if she doesn't, just get a side piece. And I was just <laughs> like, what the hell? And so all these people in the comments were saying, like, saying a whole bunch of comments, like, it, it was just it was all bad okay like they were all saying oh well it was prescribed by the doctor for me to have a side piece he's like finally finally a a, a doctor that agrees with us isn't I'm that ready bad for the beach <laughs> uh gotta be older than my son and daughter i guess so son is 33 and daughter is 28 see our daughters are the same age bob uh, but see, for me, so it's like somebody. completely different because... You cheated on, on Matthew? I don't have kids. <laughs> Ooh, are you being with Matthew Ross, Solid Nobody? Uh-oh. Huh? Matthew Ross, Michael, you have competition. Uh-oh. You have competition. So, like, you're... She's hooking up you're with Matthew on Ross. Matthew, huh? uh -huh. Any beer? He already spilled the beer and drank the rest. I only have uh, Dos Equis left. I only had one Modelo left. Yeah. I don't drink Modelo, so that's why I gave him that one. Maybe some um, Subway and Sexy Mikey um, Hard Lemonade. <laughs> Mike's Hard Lemonade. Uh, what you think? I'm dead with Subway. Why Subway? He wa she wants to eat fresh. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get you hard, hard liquor down her. Well, I always did like a good recipe sandwich. Mikey Hard Lemonade. Wait, Salt Lake Snow Bunny, aren't you from Utah or something? Don't, don't they not like you to uh, drink alcohol over there in Utah? They can drink alcohol in Utah. They got... No, isn't that the state that was like hard to find alcohol in it? No, they don't have a uh, happy hour. They don't have... A, they have a lot of dry counties, don't they, in Utah? Well, that, Salt Lake Snow Bunny, don't they have dry counties in Utah? Um, I don't want to be starting no controversy. I was just playing. <laughs> you're not playing, Pat75. Hey, you know what? I say if you're happy and she's happy, go for it. But um, preferably, like, for Miguelito, let's just say. He's older than you, though, Pat. But I feel like it's better for him to get somebody, like, in their I'm 40s. Older than Pat. Yeah, you're older than Pat75. 
Um, I told that guy Matthew to kick rocks. I got sexy Mikey in my sights. Crosshair. I'm dead. I'm dead. Kick rocks. She said. I got uh, RSVP on the beach in Hawaii. <laughs> Who's who's treating you to a beach in Hawaii? Your parents, right? Aren't you going with your parents? He said to meet him on the beach in Hawaii. <laughs> he said, I don't care. I love it. Uh, this is starting to sound like a catch to catch a predator. Wait, wait, <laughs> well, I'm dead. Uh, episode. Don't uh, forget to bring me Subway and hard cider. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you know what? I should make the enchiladas. You want some enchiladas? Um, should I get it? I don't even know who that was that just wrote. 505, Bob Sigmund. Oh my God, I hope not. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, Anyways, do you want me to heat up some enchiladas for you? Or you want a little bit or a lot? Well, it's all you want to call it. You want a little bit then? Are we going to be on here for another hour? I don't know. Oh, yeah, Hi, MXP. We're gonna stay up on there. I was at the beach in Hawaii this week. Were you really? Yeah, I, I, love, Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I used to go every six months to Hawaii. I had so much fun. I've been to, I've been to Hawaii with Miguelito like at least three times, right? With you? Yeah. I went with my ex-boyfriend and him you should, i don't know why my ex-boyfriend and i took you together it'd be great you your boyfriend he, went, he was be. like he was like the Man, it's nobody in hawaii i'm dead <laughs> no he was like we'll go to the waterfalls uh, <laughs> uh we what we lost you what does that mean is isn't danny p the one that said he was drunk so is he trying to say love? We love you. <laughs> MXP nice. Oh, you live in Oahu? I have friends that oh, live in Oahu. Yeah. My my friend Kale lives in Oahu. My my cousin used to live in Maui. And then my other friend lives in Kauai. And my other friend used to live in Maui too. I might be going at the end of July maybe. Um, Not sure yet. Yeah, so I went with Miguelito. We went by ourselves one time to Hawaii, didn't we? Uh, you. I've been. I think I've been to Hawaii with you at least three times. Uh, Cause when or twice. I went. We went with your parents one time. And that's when we stayed in. Mac that's when uh, your brother got married, right? We hung out with Makaya on that one day. So wait, my ex boyfriend. My ex boyfriend is his brother, and he got married, and I went to his wedding, wedding. and um. They got married in Maui, so we went to Maui for that trip. But we also went to Oahu in that trip. We went to Maui. And Oahu. Maui. Yeah. Then there was another trip. We, we went, went to, to Kauai. Kauai. When that was with my other ex-boyfriend and him. Wait, it's going too fast. Um, it says, Sexy Mikey, where is the best place you've ever kissed a girl? Most memorable. I was thinking top of the strap. What do you say? I'm fucking dead. I don't have any memorable kisses. Funny how people <laughs> like coming here um, and get excited about going to the mainland. I'm still waiting for You get excited about coming kiss. here and we get excited about going there. I, I like it in Hawaii, but I feel like it's very humid over there. Um, there's a lot of mosquitoes, so I get beat, bit up every time I'm in Hawaii. But it's very beautiful. The, I like the vibe. I like the music. I'm very into, like, um, reggae and, like, oh, yeah. just the whole, like, vibe over there. Like, the music on her butt. Um, love, sorry. We watch um, you here in 505. Good content. Thank you. 505? What's 505? We watch you here in 505. What That's area code is that? I know, but what area code is that? What area code is 505? Look it up. Let's see. We're going to look it up, Danny P. We're going to expose where you live now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, on her butt. You wish it was on but um So if you were to choose to come to the mainland MXP, would you choose Vegas or would you choose somewhere else? High area code. I got oh, clothes. Oh, Albuquerque? Yeah, I just met, I just met a uh, couple a few days ago from Albuquerque, New Mexico. You met a girl? I met a couple. 
They're at my work. Oh. They were leaving. They'll go drive back to. I was all excited for you. I was like, I didn't hear about this girl you met. Uh, I didn't meet a girl. Oh well, why not, Miguelito? Um, yeah, it can get humid, um, but that's why we have AC. Yeah, it's humid over there, but I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. Which island would you say is more humid? Like, is there a difference in the humidity, like, island per island? Yeah, that's what I heard, too. In Vegas has no... Because stuff. Kauai is the furthest island out from California, right? It takes the furthest to get to Kauai. So, um, you could see Nihihau from Kauai, right? So, I would say, like, Kauai and Nihihau maybe have more humidity versus like the ones closer to california but i'm not sure i could be wrong uh sexy mikey have you ever done it on done it on a california state public beach at night <laughs> yes or no no I haven't. she says answer now <laughs> he has not He's i like vegas because no state tax <laughs> there i think in washington is it washington or oregon which one of them doesn't have uh, state tax too, or is it is it sales tax or? I don't know, but I'd like to live in a state that has no state tax. But one of them doesn't have property tax, or one doesn't have um, sales tax. I can't remember. No, I never have Salt so Lake. I don't know. All I know is that California be taxing us up the kazoo. What is it? Um, you can't go to Ni yeah, you can't go to Nihihau unless you know somebody that uh, you're married to somebody that's from there, I believe. Uh, it's a private island. Yes, I know. I've 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 been outside of Nihihau, but exactly. you can you can't come within certain uh, amount of feet to Nihihau if you guys don't know. Um, they will confiscate your boat if you go to Nihihau. They don't allow like cell phones. They don't allow like I don't think they have like any signage and stuff like that all over hawaii it's kind of like that um they're they're very limited on the signage they have um they don't have like street lights i don't think i think th when i went there this was years ago now i don't know things might might have changed since i went but um i think that they have like helicopters deliver their mail and stuff does oregon have state tax sex tax you would put a sex tax bob <laughs> oregon has no sales tax yeah okay what about state tax I think he was saying Vegas doesn't have a. Uh, yeah. Is there anyone in here that lives in Oregon and won the Mega Millions or the Powerball? I'm dead. He's trying to look for his future <laughs> wife. <laughs> Somebody in Oregon won. Powerball. What's up, Ma freaking Patone? What's good? Um, what kind of game is Hitler? No, it's. Did I put Hitler? It said hipster, hipster, right? Hipster, hipster. not Hitler. Hit, hipster. Oh my god, I hope it didn't default to Hitler's name! Can you imagine we're playing the Hitler game? I'm probably big one. Uh, he wants to see what Salt Lake Snowbody said. He said, Mikey, handcuffs could be involved either by the cops or the um, furry Free pink cuffs, cuffs. Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you own a pair of those in your drawer? <laughs> no, but I'll look on eBay for some. <laughs> I have a way to use them. Big Uggs <laughs> Casinos. Um, my sis is in Oregon. Is she really? Is she single from Miguelito, Danny? <laughs> um, on a public beach. He's never done it on a public beach that I've known of. He would have told me, I think. <laughs> I think one time I did it at a park one time. All the islands are the same, more or less. Oh, okay. I wonder. I know, I know, like, I know Kauai is, like, one of the wettest islands. It's the wettest spot in the world is in Kauai. I've actually flew over that with a helicopter. What's up, Zachary Jenky? How I heard you the prettiest beaches are in uh, Oahu, though. The prettiest ones? Yeah, that's what I was reading. Who said that? I was looking at top 10 prettiest beaches of the world. You think so? Like on the North Shore? Maybe on the North Shore. I feel like they have nice waves. They have nice waves there. I don't know. I had so much. I love the beaches like in Kauai, though so nice um though i will happily take an older woman with money oh right i'll take an older guy with money i'll take uh i'll take whoever a younger guy with money no just kidding i i really don't care about the money so much you guys i would prefer to like actually really fall in love with somebody i you know what money can't buy you love right so 
I'd rather have the love and if the money's there, cool. And if the money's not there, then cool. I should know what good way to have Lenikai, Lenikai is um, the best beach in Oahu. I don't know if I've been there before. Lenikai, have you been there? Have we, no, I don't know if we've been there before. I've been to Hawaii even without Miguelito in Oahu. I've been there with my daughter as well. I took my daughter to like, uh, we went island hopping. Too fast. Just read faster. Yeah, Rhonda, she is single, but it's, it's random. I don't know. Oh, he's trying to go back and read Salt Lake so many. It says, Mikey, here. Here, read it. Mikey, it's crazy but because of, you know. Oh, I know what you did last summer in movies. <laughs> I would think people would be, be doing, doing it all over the beach. beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, love doesn't exist. Pat seventy five, I hear you on that. Money exists. <laughs> it's almost I think four a.m. out here. Gotta log out and get some sleep. Um, I'll keep you on the big screen and listen as I drift to sleep. <laughs> Take care, all. Nice. Thank you so much, Pat75. I mean, sorry, Bob Sigmund. And thank you so much, Pat75 and, and Bob and all the other mods in here. Is Jed is still in here? I don't know if she's still in here. Who else is in here that was my mod? Thank you guys so much. What's up, Christian Hansen? How are you doing? No money, no honey? You think that, Christian? I don't know. I'm very different than most females. Like... I know a lot of females, they, they date a guy for their money. Uh, for me, I'm just not like that. I, I, I like to have a guy that has a great personality. Um, I love somebody who's like just outgoing and just very educated. I like a really <laughs> smart guy. Uh, walk with Rhonda, how is your um, blessed day? My day's been good. We, we had a good day. We went up to uh, Big Bear. We went to Running Springs. We took Sierra. Sierra's beat. She's asleep right down here on the ground. Um, we had a nice lunch um we had some coffee michael had some drinks and spilled the beer everywhere we played a no, game we, with my roommate we had a, we had a good time that's cool yeah i had a good time and miguelito started off the day playing scrabble with his parents did you lose or win uh, he said he lost <laughs> um let's see bob sigmund i love how mikey is so focused on my questions He's so focused on, look at, this is this is the picture from today, you guys. I was gonna put this as my um, profile picture. This is us up in, or not us, but up in the mountains. This is what it looked like where we were at. It was really pretty, beautiful. Uh, outgoing and education usually goes hand in hand uh, with making money. It in, um, got the dough, engineers. Um, I So I like a guy I prefer like, I prefer, I've dated a guy that's like my height or a little bit shorter, but I prefer guys that are taller than me. I prefer that just cause I have a bad back and I'm not trying to like bend down and all that. Looks nice. Salt Lake Nobody says Jennifer Love Hewitt. What do you think? You like her? Jennifer Love Hewitt? She's cute. Yeah, I like that. You don't know who Jennifer Love Hewitt is? She's, she's from that one movie, like the, the ghost one. What is that one? Or the TV show, I mean. Um, she Doesn't she play in I Know What You Did Last Summer too? Oh, she was in The Purge. Wasn't no, wasn't she in that one TV show with the ghost things? Look at her. Uh, she was in I, I know, know What You Did Last Summer. but Oh, Ghost Whisper. Ghost that's Whisper. what it was called. Yeah. Ghost Whisper. Yeah, I don't think and Party of either. Five. Oh, she was in that too. What do you think about her? She wants to know. She said, answer, answer She's now. <clears throat> I like the other girls she wants to know. Uh, black hair, brown eyes, and a big butt for me. So you like black hair with brown eyes. Okay, Maffetone. Maffetone says no blondies for him. No redheads. You don't like redheads? Heartbreakers. Heartbreak, you got the best of me. I know uh, what uh, you did last summer. Yeah, she plays in that. Oh, she's in Heartbreakers too. Um, the facelift she had um, looks awful. Was that her before, be, pre facelift or after post facelift? Let me see the picture. Can you go back to it? Let's see. Um, hilarious, no bending down with with you there. 
Um, she was in a show, Party of Five. Yes, in the ghost show, Ghost Whisper. She to went be. to um, Kylene High School in Texas. Did she really? No fire in the hole. <laughs> Redheads, I'm dead. You don't like fire in the holes? Jennifer, love you. It's the second one down. Just click it. <gasps> Michael, you cannot show that. That's all Jennifer Love Hewitt. What? Why is she exposing herself like she's that? She's not. She's in a bra. I mean, she might as well. It's just like a big bikini. Oh, she did. Ooh. That's from 2008. This is her right here, but she looks very taut through here. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that she, like, do you see these pictures? If you click on this one, more pictures of her come up with her. Woo! <laughs> All right, Mangalita, I'm not sure I want to touch your phone after seeing these pictures because who knows what other pictures you look at them right Let me put this down. All right um the town outside of fort hood so i'm guessing she is a military brat of sort of a sort like amy i feel like my ex lived in fort hood or something didn't isn't that where that one um isn't that where that one girl was murdered in fort, fort hood wasn't there a murder over there oh my gosh show us no i can't salt lake snow bunny it's against utah's law <laughs> i can't show that i can't show that Oh my god. She had to have breast enhancement. She had to have breast enhancement. She's very petite. Is her breast really that big? Yeah, because look, she looks not as not as big breast there. Yeah, she's under there. Somebody Google, did she have any breast enhancement? Um I'm 36 soon and a virgin, but I don't care. Maybe that's why you're drinking. If I was 36 and still a virgin, I'd probably become a drunk. <laughs> I'm just hey, some people I'm just, just want to be with their me. Huh? special. That, that's person. actually good. That's really good. Huh? I said that. Uh, maybe just don't become a 40 year old virgin. I'm just kidding. Like the movie. She, maybe she want, that person wants to save herself for that one special person. Aw, uh, and who's that one special person? Salt Lake's nobody? Know, ask her. Ask her. No, Speak. Just, I'm just saying that. <laughs> she had a breast enhancement. The magic of modern search. See, that's what I thought. MXP. She looked like really flat chested in one picture. And in another picture, I was like, damn. She had some watermelons. Like some miniature watermelons. But there were still watermelons. Um, Mikey, look at her in the movie pictures called Heartbreakers. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Gorgeous. Look at look at that movie. I'm, joke. I'm dead. Is that That's not Jennifer Love Hewitt. Who is that? Don't, Michael, this guy. Oh my God, Michael. <laughs> I was like, that's not Jennifer Love Hewitt. He's pulling up his crush. Ugh. <laughs> She's way too young for you. Is like she? she could be your great grandchild. <laughs> She's 30. Is she 30? Like I said, she could be your great grand. She has to be younger than 30. She's in her 20s at least, I would think. How old is she? 28. She's 28. She's my daughter's age. Please stop looking at that. It grosses me out. All right. So if you if you if you look at somebody, I would say like at least 35 or older, at least, and that'll still be 20 years younger than Mikey you. Mikey, look at her in movie pictures called Heartbreakers. He Jennifer wants you to look at Jennifer. Love. She wants you to look at Jennifer Love Hewitt yeah. in the movie Heartbreakers and see a picture of that. Oh, uh, see how she looks. I wonder when she got her breast done. Like, okay, so how does it come out? Like, if you guys have a flat chest and you get, if you get breast enhancement, like, how do you come out to the world? Like, all of a sudden you're like, ba bam Like, I mean, it's just like, it's going to show. You like the way she looks? Not like the other pictures. <laughs> After seeing the other pictures, you're going to the heartbreaker <laughs> ones. Um, he's not impressed. He likes the ones with her half naked. Much better. I'm dead. I like Pitbull's ex-wife, Natalie Martinez. Okay, we're going to look her up right now. Look up Natalie Martinez. I'm going to look and see what she looks like. Martinez. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah she's pretty. Let me see. Go ahead. That's his ex his ex wife. Look at all the pictures though. Like go under images right here, so we can see more of her images. She's pretty. I feel like. I feel she's pretty, but I feel in a lot of her pictures, I feel like she has one eye slightly closed a little bit more than the rest. You see, like in this picture, her eyes closed more on this side. You notice that? Like in another picture, I've seen like that too. Where was it at? Mm, oh shit, she's she's pregnant in this picture. Okay, how many of you guys would, would um, be with a girl that's pregnant? Do you prefer her pregnant or not? Is it is that like a turn on to some of you guys? Being with a girl that's pregnant? To some guys out there though. That's... Would you prefer to be with a girl that's pregnant? No, okay, I feel like uh, it's kinda complicated. Vegas Rebel, you wouldn't like that? You wouldn't like a girl that's pregnant? Because I'd feel like I mean the baby's in my throat. I don't know what if I'm hitting the baby. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. Baby gonna have a little headache. <laughs> That's okay. You can give the baby some Excedrin. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. What do you guys feel? Vegas Rebel says no. What about the rest of you guys? I wish Bob was still in here. I would like to know his answer. Oh, Dodger I'll have to ask him. I, like that Dodger I know. I'm happy he's a Dodger yeah, fan. Dodger is freaking blew it today. Uh, MXP2000 says, if it's my girl being pregnant, it's great. Otherwise, sorry. He's like, sorry, I'm not sorry, but I'm not going to be with you. Uh, oh, Bob is here. I was twice. Uh, my ex wife's mom and, oh, mom of my kids. My ex wife and mom of my kids. So he he was with two pregnant women. I need Matt. I'm dead. Wait, does that say Matt or Malt? What does that say? I can't even read it. Can you read that? Malt? You need Malt? Okay. Mikey, look up this picture. Victoria Justice in a bikini. We already looked her up before. Victoria Justice. He probably forgot though. He can look her up again. And um, you taught River a few months ago. Rate her from 1 to 10. Bikini will be black. They want you to look at the picture with the black bikini of Victoria Justice. Oh man. So what are you guys' thoughts? Anybody else have a thought on um, whether or not you would be with a woman that is pregnant? Best result though, the armpits under um, pec muscles too. Oh yeah, go under the muscle instead of over. Um, not for the fake boob looks unless um, you developed f flat depends on who she was with um, and her rep <laughs> okay so that leads to the next question then would you prefer to have a woman with She's or ready. without breast enhancement like say if your woman is completely flat chested would you want her to get an enhancement that's pretty She's pretty that's a pretty picture. I'm dead. Now you got another. He zoomed in on her. I'm I'm dead. What's this one? Is this? He 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 likes the one with her by the water going like this. <laughs> I'm dead. And the black bikini. She's pretty. She's pretty she's solid. Pretty, nobody. Yeah. I think she's. Um, yeah, she's good looking. Moffaton says, I'll take Kim Kardashian too. You like that big butt? Rate her Mikey, one to ten. One to I, ten. Victoria Justice, one to ten. Let's go. I give her like, uh, I'd say a nine. Okay. Kim Kardashian, let's go. Kim Kardashian? Yep. 7.3. 7.3, okay. And then what about Pitbull's ex wife? The one that Moffatone likes with the probably, dark hair. Eight. An eight. Uh, J Love. Jennifer Love Hewitt is now one of the stars in the current. What is it saying? Sorry. Uh, Firefighter show on 911. Oh, really? She is a 911 operator. Did he Hello, how can I help you? Jennifer Love Hewitt? I've never met her. Who's the one that you saw come out of the ice room? Jennifer Lopez? 
Jennifer Love Hewitt and Jennifer Lopez are two different no, people. There was another girl. Oh, Jennifer Garner. Oh, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, I, I, I met Jennifer Garner and then Jennifer Lopez and, and ben, ben Affleck were, were together. But I didn't know Jennifer Garner was there until she came out, like right after. And I was like so surprised that Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner were in the same freaking place. <laughs> because you would think that they would not be together, but I guess they were coming together for the kids' sake. Um, some women get breast enhancement to better fit in their wardrobes. Well, just get a wardrobe that fits, but for me... Miguelito's happy with just, like, a B-cup. So if you don't have big boobs, you're happy with that, right? Yeah. Like, just enough. I feel that a woman should have to go through surgery just to make a man happy. But what if they're making themselves happy? And like... If that's something that they want to do for themselves... Then you're okay with it, but... I'm okay with it. But don't but make what if yourself... You prefer, don't prefer that? Would that turn you well, off? Well, I would let her know. I would say like, well... So you you're going to say, if you go through with this surgery, I'm going to like you less. No. Here you go, Mikey and Chad. You can that... thank me later. Uh, she is doing Capital One commercial ads um, these days. J Lo and Ben Affleck got to got back together. Yes, they are back together. I just saw them the other day, um, Christian, on my live stream. J Lo, um, Ben Affleck, and Jennifer Gardner were on my live stream the other day. What's the last one? Um, huh? The last one. He said, here you go, um, Mikey and chat. He said, you can thank me later. I don't know. He posted a, a link. So you're going to have to go back and, or if you go on your phone right now, yeah. click that link. I could do it. Bob Sigmund, exactly. Um, that client uh, list show. Unless I'm paying it, it's none of my business on what a woman does. So what if you are married? Let's, let's, let's go out on a whole nother limb. If say if you're married and your wife is pregnant and say you wanted your your woman was in a lot of pain and she wanted to have medication but yet you anybody who works in the medical field knows when you give a woman medication when they're in labor it's gonna affect the baby sometimes if you give it too close to the baby being delivered they can come out very like like that you know like Maybe pretty much looking here. dead, very boggy. What? Is, who is this? Jennifer Love Hewitt? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> she got a new career. <laughs> so you like the way she looks better now? The older she gets, the more um, freak of she looks. <laughs> Like He's thanking girls. you, Bob. He's thanking you. They said, click the link, Mike. It's Jennifer Love Hewitt. I'm a woman. Yeah, he's he's watching the, the link now. Um, interesting. So they traveled together. That's a uh, that's a wonder. California, this the land of the dreams. Started. Yeah. An epidural affects um the baby too. He's looking at the video right now. So anyways, um, so a lot of times these men that would come in um, to with their wives, they would refuse women to get the medication. Now, do you feel, now here comes my question, Sophia, yeah, she's really pretty, Mafetone, Sophia Vergara, uh, ooh la la, yeah, I used to like her too, she's really cute, she's not like like her like her but she's oh yeah pretty. she quit america's got town because of um because why who's the bald guy again oh howie mandel howie mandel uh-huh he made a comment and it pissed her off so bad she quit the show what did he say well, i don't know i didn't watch how it. can you bring that that comment to us without knowing the comment that was said does anybody know the comment that was said by howie mandel towards sofia vagara um okay so my question is I mean, wait let me go back to what i was saying so these guys that were married to these women they would tell them that they could not get medication now do you feel that a man should have the upper hand so this is my question do you feel like a man should have the upper hand when it comes to determining whether 
their wife should be in pain or not in pain? Or do you think that it should be based um, on, hold on, let me finish. It, or it should be based on um, whether or not it's going to affect the baby. Uh, it says, Bob, yeah, she had a, sh a song called, How Do I Deal? Mikey, look up Melanie Iglesias in Aqua Blue Bikini. Look up that one. Uh, Bob says she has kids now. Wait, which one are we talking about? Sofia Vergara? Um, this was before kids, but still would. Are you talking about Jennifer Love Hewitt? Okay, back to bed um, and behave as I am trying to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to behave here. Uh, Googled some epidural medicines um, does reach the baby. But if, yeah, they, after like a certain amount of dilation, you cannot get that. Um, but it's much less than uh, what a baby would get if the mother had pain medicine through an IV. Yes. Um, general general anesthesia, the risk of an epidural um, to the baby are minimal. Um, wait, you said what? The, gen the risk of an epidural to the baby are minimal. Uh, but include possible distress while well, uh, your nurse you must advise on these issues. She has a couple out there. Uh, Bare Naked is the one I, I recall from 2017. I know that I know that when we do like a general anesthesia um, in surgery, the baby has to get out when you only have a certain amount of time before you can get the baby out before it like affects the baby. So we have to cut quick when they do general anesthesia. Um, and Jess, J Love, and J Lo are my hall passes. All of them. Wait, Jess, who's Jess? Jess, who? I know Jennifer Love Hewitt and Jennifer Lopez. Really? Wait, J Lo is J L O, not J L O W. Is that what we were referring? Did they default back to J L O W? Are right, my hall passes? Good night. Good night, Bob. Thank you for modding. What are you looking at, Melanie Iglesias? Um, there she is. You didn't see her picture. Wait, just pick up. Just click on the thing. You can do all this extra oh, stuff. She told me to look that up. I know, but you're you're not doing it right. You don't need to write all this. Oh, she's pretty. Yes. Yeah, she's really pretty. This is Melanie Iglesias. Yeah, she's pretty. Young woman, first time and may not have birth canal um, that is big enough. Yeah, in... When you have, uh, when you're a, um, a prime, you can only have, if you only have one child, like if you're not only having one child, if it's your first pregnancy, it usually takes you longer to have your baby than the second, third, fourth. They're going to come faster and faster. Usually, typically, not always, but typically they come faster with each pregnancy that you have. So who would be your hall pass, Megalito? What do you mean? Do you not know what a hall pass is? So say you're married, right? Yeah. And you told your wife, okay, I'll never cheat on you unless this person comes. Who would be that person that you would cheat on your wife for? If I had to pick think? one? Uh-huh. And it's not a celebrity or is a celebrity? I mean, let's hope a hall pass would be a celebrity. Otherwise, like it wouldn't really necessarily be the best hall pass. <laughs> well, if I had a cheese... Because usually celebrities, you're not going to have a chance of being with them. Usually. Not all the time, but usually. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a few that you can get in there. Yeah, she is Hey, what's up, Neil? How are you? Good to see you. You guys, Neil has a new channel. Um, Neil, can I go ahead and say, um, it's based on just aviation and him flying to different um, places. So please, Neil, post your new channel in here, um, so that way people can um, please um, subscribe to his new channel. Please and thank you. 
uh, you have no hall pass MXP. Uh, that picture is gorgeous, uh, huh, Mikey? Yeah, she's really pretty, Salt Lake Snowbunny. I think she's pretty. So, Neil, please post your, your link. You want me to cook you the enchiladas? Sure. Okay, you want a small amount or a large amount? Just small. Okay, I'm going to just cook the ones that I recooked the ones I already did. You want me to put extra sauce on it? You like a lot of sauce or less sauce? A medium. A medium sauce? Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm going to go and heat this up. Okay, hold hold the chat if you want to hold it from going up just hold it like this okay all right Miguelito's gonna take over i'm gonna heat up some enchiladas for us they're like mini enchiladas i'll be back i would say my hall pass would probably be <laughs> christina applegate back in the day remember uh, she was hot back in the day oh <laughs> uh, you know who do a lipa Hey, Neil. Tell Neil that I'll have you subscribe too. Rhonda says I'll have, uh, she'll have me subscribe. Oh yeah, Jetta's in here. Jetta's still there? Hi, Jetta. I didn't look at it. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, Salt Lake. You should be flying to Maine for the total eclipse tomorrow morning. Do you have some roast too? I need some roast. No, I'm fine. Roast beef, shredded beef? No? The is really fine. You don't want some shredded beef too? Huh? You want some shredded beef? I made a roast, a lot of it. Is it like a pot roast? It's just only the meat, it has nothing else with it. The meat uh, and gravy. I'll try this one. Yeah, I wanted to go this year, but it just didn't happen. So I'm just going to have to wait for another time and maybe go out of the country to see the total eclipse. But I hear there's a meteorite coming sometime this year that I want to see, so that'll be cool. And then um, I don't know if you guys see like on YouTube the videos where the all these streaks of light go across the street the sky at nighttime. We just had an episode like that a few days ago where I live. So that was really cool too. They said there was like uh, something about a Chinese satellite or something that broke apart entering the atmosphere. So that was cool. Yeah, you guys got that earthquake back east. Now you know... Uh, how California in a little way could be like. I'm just glad I wasn't in Taiwan for that 7.4 though, that's for sure. You guys see those buildings that are sliding off onto the ground? That was crazy. No, I haven't been. I've been in like a, the smallest plane I've been to is like through, um, so I went to Hawaii on a major 747, but then we went to a smaller I, smaller island, which, which we, which is a, smaller plane. a smaller plane, which maybe carried like maybe a hundred people. No, it was more, th this plane we took, you know, it could take like, maybe like, actually probably like 60 people, huh? huh. It, it was a small plane, but yeah, it wasn't I, like a, it too, too small. yeah, it wasn't small, but it wasn't big, but it was uh, smaller than the airplanes you see going across the country and all that. But I've never been in a single plane or a twin engine.
Yeah, I had a friend that was a uh, long time ago, way back in the day, and uh, unfortunately, he was trying to learn how to do one of those twin engines. And oh, yeah, Oscar. Yeah, and uh, actually, I think it might have been a single engine plane, but he crashed into a mountainside and died. He missed out. He was actually in school at um, Mount San Antonio. Yeah, he was training. He was t in and a class. There was several students on the plane. Not several, but some students. I think there was like two or three. Yeah. There was other students. I think the instructor. Well, I do like to fly, though. I like to uh, go on a... Uh, I have to look what a picture looks like. A beach you want a pork chop too? No, I don't want to eat too much. You want something to drink? Good day? I could, yeah, some water. Some water? Yeah, those Beechcraft Barons look pretty uh, nice. Okay. Uh, thank you. Sierra is. Uh, she's sleeping. Right she here. was. No, she's awake. She's awake. I think she's just waiting for us to go to bed. <laughs> crazy yeah she's cooking the food right now and I already yeah, cooked I, the food I'm just warming uh, it up Have you traveled anywhere this year, Salt Lake? Mm -hmm. On a plane? We scoot over a little bit? How come you move to the side? Oh, I see. No, 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 scoot over that way. Oh, just get out of this chair. Huh? Yeah. No, scoot over to that one. Stand up. That's cool. Did you go outside of Utah or just like local flying, go to Salt Lake City? Elon Musk Let's is making see the food. some I'm, I'm heating it up right now. Futuristic tube thing. Speaking of flying other than planes, I'm kind of uh, scared for next year when cars are supposed to start flying. <laughs> yes, that is true, Salt Lake. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with
Yeah, um, so I'm glad all your landings have been good, that's for sure. Oh, okay, Wisconsin. I've been, I've driven through Wisconsin one time, but it's just the south part of it because I'm a Green Bay Packer fan. I miss Reno though, but I want to go back to Reno because they have um, a, um, what's those things called? The flat, oh, geysers. They got some geysers over by Reno, which are really cool. I have a friend that lives over there, my friend Tiny. Do you know who Tiny is? Uh -uh. She lives over there. It's all like you've been to San Diego this year? Oh, two years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, San Diego's fun. Yeah, well, uh, I think in October every year in Huntington Beach they have um, air shows. But Huntington Beach is also popular for Fourth of July too. It gets really crowded. We stayed at a place together. on Shelter Island. I've already the stuff, didn't you? A lot of sauce in the, the beef house together. Uh, <laughs> right, thanks. Sorry, I should Where's Shelter Island? Island? That name sounds familiar. Wasn't that a movie? Is a movie called Shelter Island? Yeah, but I think there might be one in San Diego or something like that, too. Isn't it? I don't know. Isn't it? It is a movie, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was Leonardo DiCaprio. Play the police officer. really hot. Thank you. All right, so I got enchiladas, beef, and Should a cinnamon roll. It's a roast, like a roast. I made a roast. How much is my bill? Okay. <laughs> Mikey, look at this video really quick. Reno Air Show. Oh, wow. That's so horrible. Yeah, let me look it up. Shutter Island. Is it Shutter Island or did it was it Shelter Island? I think it was Shutter Island. Is it Shutter it's Island? The movie. Oh, okay.
Sorry, give me one second. You said it was only a couple years ago? Damn, did he just nose dive straight down into the people? Is this, is this the one you're talking about? Is this the one you're talking about? At speeds up to 500 miles per hour before he crashed tearing into the crowd. ABC's David Wright is in Reno. It all happened so fast, the spectators barely had time to duck. We did have time to determine. Yeah, you just so fast. Dude, that's crazy. That's sad. I think he just lost track of how low he was. Yeah, that's so sad. Just nose nose dived into a bunch of people. The P fifty one Mustang that crashed was sixty seven years old, heavily modified, ten feet up point. Pilot was sixty. Lay down then. Lay down, mommy. Lay down. Uh, he, the the pilot was seventy four. She wants attention. <laughs> now that you're cooking, she's wide awake. I know, because she smells the In mid-flight, the, the tail just broke off, huh? Wow. Yeah, that'll do it. Why do you keep moving it closer? Oh, I don't know. So I could read it. You can't read it? Sierra, scoop back. Scoop back. Scoop back, mama. All right, guys, I'm back. It's only Salt Lake City. Snow Bunny. <laughs> She's the only one. You and her and Moffatone? Jed, are you still in here? Ninja Watchers, yeah. <laughs> Join in the chat. There's a lot of them. It's all good. <laughs> she wants each other. She probably wants the beef. I have like roast. Roast beef. Mm. 
Either enchiladas or the beef. <laughs> so, like, have you ever seen a plane crush like that at a show? Are you only talking to Salt Lake Snow Bunny? Because well, there's other people else. in the chat, too. You know oh, that? that sounds like Boeing. Boeing 747. I mean... Mini enchiladas. I put sour cream on this one. You don't have to have sour cream. Michael's doesn't have sour cream. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the, the, ooh, shit, it's burning my hand. The rose beef is over here. I made two rows the other day. So there. I was trying to show you guys, but it's hard because it has sauce on it. So the sauce will fall off the plate. Here. Let me show you. Let's see, Michael. Michael's eating his already. There's mine. I put the roast on the side right here. Oh shoot! And then there's cinnamon roll next to it. I I have. Uh, hold on, Sierra. 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 Watch out. I have the cinnamon roll, so we each have a half. She's like, I'm family. <laughs> Nothing like that, just landing gear collapse. No, thank you. No, <laughs> I don't like whipped She cream. doesn't like whipped cream. Mm -mm. The two sauces got mixed together from the enchiladas and the, and the rose because I put. I put red green bean into the rose when I make the rose. So that they're mixing together. Yeah, she makes really good enchiladas and taquitos too. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like sour cream though. So I don't put sour cream on this. But I love whipped cream. I know. I have orange juice that I'm drinking, and he's drinking water. Oh man! One thing I really like to do is take pancakes with uh, fruit and whipped cream on my pancakes. I have um, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries that I have for breakfast. I mix that in with my. With my yogurt, my Greek yogurt, and I eat that for breakfast. I like your mug ronda, it's cute, right? I got it in Monterey. In Monterey, and it has um otters on it. They're really cute, right? <laughs> I got like matching uh pants and matching socks and matching top that goes with it too. <laughs> they said marry her, Miguelito. <laughs> no. Even remember Thanksgiving, I made a whole bunch of food for you on Thanksgiving too. A ton. I don't I don't like to make food a lot. I mean, I don't mind making it when I'm in a lot like not in a lot of pain. But most of the time I'm in pain, so I mean I cook but I have to have like a usually on the day of the week that I feel good enough to cook I, I cook a lot of meals at the same time that's why I have all these different meals I love animals mm, they're delicious <laughs> I'm done mm -mm -mm. how many of you guys like sour cream Michael hates it but low key don't tell him I used to put sour cream in the enchiladas when I baked it back in the day. Back in the day, I don't anymore. These didn't have them though. That's why I added the sour cream to the top. And he ate them up like no other. I'm telling you. Even with the sour cream in there. Aviation.
Oh, okay. Well, Morning, I bet that's got to empty out somebody's wallet. The gas? Yeah, I, my car has to use 89 gas. The more premium, not the most expensive, but mid grade. You said time for so bad, get up. <laughs> he can't time himself out. He's not a mod. <laughs> That's funny, Jodo. You're hilarious. Mm -mm. We're gonna have like a food come after all this, huh? Hopefully not. <laughs> You still gotta drive home. Yeah. I had only ate once today before this, which was Who when we I ate. Today? We when, when did we eat? Like three or five? All gas is getting expensive. Yeah, it seems like everything's expensive now these days. You know, if it's not the gas, it's the groceries at the store. If it's not the groceries. Even the freaking the cost of living is ridiculous nowadays. Well, cost of living, especially in California, it's horrific. I don't know how it is in other states though, but the one thing that's really skyrocketing here in California is people renewing their tags and registrations. Oh my god, I have two cars after renew tags yeah, and registration. Those have two. gone up a lot. Smog checks. You want to get a smog check? A lot of people don't even put coupons out anymore. If they do do it. There's always like a hidden fee, so you pay $25 and it ends up being like $35. The best thing and worst thing about my trip to Africa, the best thing about it was probably going to the beach. I really enjoyed it. I liked uh, having some drinks on the beach. Wow, that sounds good. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. The worst thing was being pulled out of the, the car um, with guns and police officers confiscating my phone and yeah that was probably the worst part but just go to mexico and drink your drinks on the beach there actually that could be dangerous too though <laughs> mm -hmm. i think i'll just go to hawaii and get all inclusive <laughs> oh in hawaii <clears throat> That sounds cool, Rondo. Wow. Yeah, the beach was really nice there. They have some really nice beaches there. Sierra is like, what are you going to feed me? Oh. She's like, give me some. You can't eat this <clears throat> food. If I fed her this food, she would not eat her kibble. <laughs> I do give her some chicken. Oh, she has her chicken. No, you want your chicken, mommy? You got her chicken patty? I really don't want her to eat this late at night, though, because then she'll have to use the restroom, and then I'll be too tired to take her out. True. Come to Hawaii? We have been to Hawaii many times. Many, many times. I love Hawaii. Yeah, I love Hawaii. Utah is awesome, though. I like Utah a lot. All right, mommy. Um, you said if Michael didn't give me any, you were going to get some from me? Is that what you thought? Hmm? Arizona's cool when we just went to Arizona. The scenery's pretty there. Mm -hmm. Utah is actually really pretty. Their, their yeah, scenery the is parts, really yeah. pretty in Utah. I love Utah. We've literally like hiked every national park in Utah and then some of the state parks as well. Oh my God, those African safari trips look amazing, but kind of scary. Wild lions and hippos and, uh, and crocs. Um, those are more like in like Kenya and different places like that. Nigeria doesn't have a lot of that, I don't think. Yeah, but um, speaking of those African safaris, and um, oh, I can't remember the words that would say. Can you name me? Oh, couple? really? Oh. It says the tour was... guide uh, shouldn't just stop the Jeep. A lady was killed by a giant elephant. Yeah. Wow. That's what I was trying to think of, but I don't know where it was at. So she was celebrating oh, yeah. her birthday. I think she was turning You have a 80. home in Buckeye? I have friends that live in Buckeye. Uh, yeah, so the reason why they stopped the Jeep supposedly is that they came to a point where there was too much brush and they couldn't get through. And oh, that's why is that they what happened? Stopped the Jeep. 
And that's when the elephant came and flipped over the Jeep. <gasps> the whole Jeep, he flipped it over? Mm -hmm. Killed the lady. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was celebrating her birthday. But I don't know. I think she was turning It happened and, on her birthday? On her birthday. She it said, happened on her birthday? She said that was her bucket list. Like go to the African safari. No way. Well, uh, Jetta, was she killed on her birthday? I know my aunt oh, you know what? No, and I uncle have Jetta. been um, to a lot of the safaris before. And then they hired like guides that come out and they have like shotguns with them in case yeah. anything happens. They'll shoot. They'll shoot. But it's kind of sad because that's in their, in their wilderness. Body. Yeah, they're in the wild. It is really sad that she died. But at the same time, you're going to their neck of the woods. You know what I'm saying? Wow, four of the five uh -huh. uh, skis, huh? Yeah, last year, I think it was Mammoth that was number one for last one. Oh my God, we had so much fun in Mammoth when we I went. Like Mammoth, yeah. Mammoth is a blast. If you guys have never been to Mammoth, so much fun, you guys. So freaking much yeah, fun. Yeah, if you guys like skiing and you like to have fun, go for St. Patrick's Day weekend. You guys, I'm allergic to cinnamon, but I'm going to eat this anyways. Because I really like cinnamon. And it's good anti-inflammatory. Yeah, they had, uh, and I can't ex remember the exact numbers, but they had over 700 really? inches of snow last winter. Not the winter that just came, but the winter before. Over 700 inches. They said it was a record for Mammoth. Mm. That's crazy. Do you guys believe it or not? I'm full already. This is so good, though. The cinnamon roll, I want to eat it all. I haven't been Rhonda. Oh my God, Salt Lake Snow Bunny, you have to go. It's the best time during spring break. That's when we went. Go for, go for- um... Michael loved the topless ladies <laughs> there. There was a lot of topless ladies. Zambian National um, Park was, was the place. Oh, okay. Oh, is that what happened? Was it in Zambia? Yeah, something like that. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was like, you know, like, um, what, a refugee, not a refugee park, a, um, it was like a, a, like a wild park or something. Uh-huh. It wasn't just like out in the middle of nowhere. But oh, it was it like in the wilderness? Park. Yeah, it was a park. That is crazy. And then there was one cult. Nobody got hurt on this one event, but there was another safari where they showed videos and they had two or three jaguars or leopards or something on top of their car or vehicle. Oh my God, there's and no they, windows? And they, no windows, nothing. And they just pounce that's themselves when you, laying that's down. That's when off. you go 100 miles an hour and hope they fly off. No, they stopped. They didn't do anything. But one was on the hood. One, I, think it I mean, was I two. wouldn't want them to get hurt or anything, yeah. like the animals, but... I think I it was two, scared. but one was on the hood, and the other one was on top of the roof. If there was a third one, it wasn't on a vehicle, but they didn't do anything. They just sat snow on the like over here five or ten minutes, and they left. Huh? Have you ever snowboarded? Hi, Lonnie. No, but I have boogie board down the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Me and me and Snow don't get along when it comes to <laughs> sliding on things. Yeah, one time I did. I had my uh, boogie board from uh, back in the day, and I went to a school in Big Bear, and I went down a slope. But it turned into mush, and I fell through, and I got all muddy. <laughs> he said, my son's best friend went through um, the African continent on motorcycle to celebrate his graduation. Oh, that sounds like fun. Wow. And you know what, that also sounds scary because a lot yeah, of the countries in Africa, ooh, I don't know. That doesn't sound very safe. Oh man. I mean, but I think it would be pretty. There's there's a lot of beauty over there, you guys. I know a lot of people look like, they think Africa, they're like, I don't wanna go there. But honestly, I, I feel it's really beautiful in, in some of the areas. I, 
like I said, I'm in love with palm trees and it's just so tropical in some parts that I was at. Really, really pretty. You'll like, you'll like Hawaii too. Yeah, I still need to take him to, so when we went to Maui, what is it, the seven sacred pools or whatever? Um, I wanted to take him, but his mom got like sick. Every time we go to Hawaii, she gets sick and then she doesn't let anybody do anything. So I won't be, it's a wrap going to Hawaii with his parents ever again. <laughs> but anyways, she got so jealous. She wouldn't let us do anything. And so she's like, no, we're not doing anything. She wouldn't let us take the car. I was like, you know what? Fine. We're going to get our own car, which she can tell us that we can't go anywhere. So I ended up getting a car and me and Miguelito, we went to, um, went to the inside of the island, Kauai, right? Uh -huh that was so much fun right. but i wanted to get a car in maui and take him to the other side of maui because we were on the side that's like less pretty i think the other side is more pretty like we were on um we, like where they have the black sand beaches and the and the sacred pools There's, i think it's so pretty over there uh, maui seven pools are cool i went there a few times as a kid really you've never been oh because you live in oahu mxp huh so like yeah i've i've drove around the whole island of oahu i've drove around the whole island of maui and i've drove around like what part of the island you can drive around in Kauai. so um and the part that i couldn't drive the nepali coast i actually took it by boat and my friend makai he lives in in Kauai. so <clears throat> what he did was he he owns his own boat and he takes us in the caves and everything like that so it's really cool if anybody ever needs to go to Kauai and um needs a, a boat to go out on hit me up i'll, I'll link you guys up with him um, he's really cool he's really nice and he'll dive into the ocean he even took um miguelito on sea dues and you're not allowed to have sea dues in Kauai, but only certain like people could be like licensed to do it there and um he took miguelito out on the sea dues and they went um diving for lobsters remember yeah. and you guys had lobster and everything got sick yeah he got sick because i think he didn't kill the the head you're first to, you're supposed to do head first right well the thing is you're supposed to well i don't know everything makes me yeah, like sick so it. maybe maybe it was nothing to do with the cooking of the in order if, in order not to get sick you gotta cook the lobster alive that what happened you have to cook the lobster while it's alive otherwise it injects poison to the meat that's what i'm saying you gotta cook it head first because yeah. then that's what kills it I think you cook, cook them head first. I, I mean, I don't eat seafood, so I don't really know too much, but that's what I had learned. Uh, Rhonda, how do the guys treat you? They very respectful. Like, Where, in Kauai? No, Salt Lake like asking you. Um, well, it's kind of weird. Like, I never, I never went there, like, to meet guys, but, like, Makai, when I went there, that was with my daughter. I met him, and, um... We remained friends. He used to he used to call himself like uh, my daughter's Hawaiian father. Um, oh, she's talking about the guys in Africa. Oh, the guys in Africa? Yeah, they're nice. I mean, it just depends. Like, it's just like anywhere else. I mean, um, my son's friend owns um, Pu Ohaku Ranch in um, Molokai. Oh, really? Um, we were gonna go to Molokai. Uh, well, no, we were going to go to Lanai. We actually paid to go to <coughs> Lanai from Maui. And we couldn't go because the waters were too rough. Remember, that was the day that the girl yeah. got eaten by the shark or she got bitten by the shark um, Was that Maui. with my parents? Because um, I know we were coming back home. and It was, must have been because we went to Kauai with, uh, with Carlos. Yeah, because when I was flying back to the States... At the airport, we're watching the news on TV, <clears throat> and that same day, yeah, the, the girl got eaten by the not eaten, killed? but she was bitten. Well, they the, died, the person died. Oh, yeah, I think so. They died. <clears throat> we were we were snorkeling that same day in that same water, remember that? Yeah. We're <laughs> snorkeling, and um, I don't think I don't think that was when we went with Carlos, though. When was that, or maybe it was when we went with know. Carlos? No, it was. Well, so the thing is, is that if you ever go snorkeling, never go into murky waters, never go alone. Because you can't see it. And, mm -hmm. and don't be, don't have open cuts. 
because sharks can smell the cuts. Mer the sharks like murky waters. And if you're alone, they think you might be a seal or a sea lion. They always say be in large packs of people. Hey, Alex, how are those you? Those keep the sharks away. One of the places in Africa that I would love to uh, visit is Egypt. Yeah, oh, me too, Neil. I would love to go. One of these days when I go to Nigeria, I want to go to, excuse me, I want to go to um, Egypt. I want to go to Egypt. I want to go to South Africa. Um, I want to go to um, Madagascar. And I want to oh, go to, um, what is it? Zimbabwe and Zambia. Isn't that on the border? Is it Zambia? Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe is the one to Victoria the Falls. Victoria. Yeah, I want to go there. Okay, so speaking of trips, for each person, what is your I bucket list? Was if you could pick <laughs> one <laughs> trip to be on your bucket list, what would it be? Where is the one place in the world you would go that's on your bucket list? Italy, Jamaica. You only could pick one trip. Uh oh. I don't know. Maldives looked really pretty. That does. What is, yeah, is that why is um, they chum overboard, huh, Mikey? Attract yeah. sharks. They do that a lot when they're going to do either research or they're going to have like... Japan. I would love to Japan. go to Japan. I actually have um, friends that live in <sighs> Japan. My friend Madoka, Yoshiko, and Katsunari. Um, they live there. And I have a cousin that lives in Japan as well. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Is that the place you would choose to go? Why? Are you going Oklahoma? for the tornadoes? I'll go I've with already you. been to Oklahoma. I've already been to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So. Yeah, I want to go to Tornado Alley. <laughs> Can you believe it? Freaking Salt Lake City over 10 years ago had a big tornado in the city. Oh, wow. I didn't even know Salt Lake City had tornadoes. I mean, we had a tornado <laughs> in, in LA, you know, but it's rare that yeah, they come here too. It's just like like an F0. This one actually looked like an F2. F0. It was actually What about an F1? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's dope. Do you know what an F1 is? Yeah. What is it? F1 is the weak. Uh, well, each category is wind speed, so... We no, my God, I was just laughing, like, um, about the <clears throat> about the racing in Vegas. It was F1, isn't it? Oh, I don't remember. Isn't it called the F1? Compton. <laughs> I'm dead city of Compton. France, You're trying to find... Oh, so romantic. France. But would um, love to be with the guy. French bread, French kiss, Mikey. I'm dead. He'll eat the French bread. <laughs> And it'll be all up in his teeth as he's just French kissing you. <laughs> France, make love in uh, the um, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> You're gonna make love at the top of the Eiffel Tower? There you go. <laughs> well, Miguelito cleaned his plate. He ate all of his food. <laughs> I didn't even finish all my Okay, so food. my one bucket list item would be to go to Australia. Oh, I do want to go to Australia, the Outback, and New Zealand. I want to go to New Zealand, too. And I actually have friends in um, in Australia. And my friend, one of my friends in Australia uh, has has friends in New Zealand. So they to she told me if I ever went there, I could go. We could go over to New Zealand and stay over there. Oh, the, the scale for oh, the tornadoes. Is that what it is? One to five? Oh, what is yeah. it? If it's the tornado scale, yeah, it goes from F... Actually, F zero to F five, for if you're talking about tornadoes. He's really smart when it comes to like weather and shit. Yeah, everything's based on wind speed. Just like a hurricane. I don't know why he can't learn other shit that good. <laughs> we have friends in France, and it's turned into a very challenging place with the immigrants. Mmm. <sighs> I'll ask her. She's from France. My friend. I'm my friend. Well, she is my friend, but. Yeah, right now it's prime uh, tornado season for Tornado Alley. You get in uh, March, April, May. That's where you want to be if you want to see one. I don't want to see one. When we went on our road trip, we went across the United States. Well, maybe not all the way across the United States, but we went a lot of the way. And um, he was like, oh, I hope a tornado comes. I'm like, yeah. Hell no, I don't want to see any tornadoes. He's like, right. He's like, I'm gonna run after it. Yeah. I was like, Well, I'm gonna leave your ass here and you can run after it while I yeah. go and take cover somewhere. Yeah, I told her if I saw a tornado, I was gonna go drive towards it. But we never did see one, but we did see some amazing lightning, though. That was pretty cool. I was actually in New Mexico, headed to Albuquerque, 
when a tornado hit or there was a tornado warning i think actually not it i don't know i was freaking out though i was like oh shit what if i fly right into this tornado i do not want to be i'm gonna go wash my plates up. off you can just um wash them and then put them in the dishwasher oh my gosh you have friends in france and it's turning yeah, into a challenging place with the immigrants like i know that there was like some issues several years ago of um what am i trying to say like terrorism and stuff like that so it gets really scared scary if I see a tornado, I'm getting the heck out of the way, right, MXP? I don't know why he's trying to be like one of those those watchers that go and race after them. Monsoon um, in Phoenix was scary enough for me. Was that have like flash floods and stuff with monsoon weather? <clears throat> Michael's always talking about going to um, Vegas during the monsoon weather. You guys guess, um, both guess what is considered the most famous movie prop memorabilia in history? The Las Vegas sign? I don't know. What is the most famous movie prop in, memora in memorabilia history? A Batman's car? I don't know. What is a famous movie prop, Miguelito? I don't really watch movies, so I, I wouldn't know how to answer that. What is the most famous movie prop in history? Answer Dorothy's red slippers of Wizard of Oz. I could believe it. I would. I, oh, the Hollywood sign. I was gonna say um, the Golden Gate Bridge too could have been one of them, but Dorothy's slippers. Interesting. In Vegas, the Link, which is which used to be Imperial Palace. Me and Michael used to stay there a lot when it was Imperial Palace. Um, parking lot always gets a very flooded. Oh man! So you can stay there for cheap price. And flood your car. <laughs> no, I'd rather pay a few extra dollars and have a safe car when they come out. And not one floating down the street. The ruby red slippers are so beautiful. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> You're going to click your heels three times. They could be close on those. The what? The he said they could be right. I'm sure that they are correct. That is a good guess. Would it? Would it? MXP say? Oh, the Hollywood sign. Yeah, I would have thought. I would have thought the Las Vegas sign, the Hollywood sign, something like that's a staple, like the um, Golden Great Bridge or the Statue of Liberty, something like that something uh, or another one is like um uh, oh i'm trying to think like the chrysler building or um or uh the other building i can't even think right now i'm tired um jacob took a tour with uh peter santa a little into the storm drains in the link oh wow that's kind of scary to be honest with you i don't know what's down there maybe like a whole lot of homeless people i was going to say jaws that's a uh, uh, uh universal right jaws salt lake snow bunny thinks i love when she sings over the rain rainbow wizard of oz yeah that's a good song I love it when um, the guy from Hawaii, the one that passed away, what was his name, um, MXP? He was a, like a Samoan or a Hawaiian guy that died. He sang that song. I like his version too. You know, um, the other day we went to uh, the Hollywood Forever um, Cemetery. And you guys know that uh, Judy Garland is buried there as well. And she was um, she was in The Wizard of Oz. 
Buddha Iz, that was his name? Or Buddha Iz? I worked with him in the 90s. Really? You know that um, song, Miguelito, that they had for your brother's wedding? The Somewhere Over the wave, rainbow. rainbow? Do you know who sings it? He's, a, he's Hawaiian, but I can't remember. Yeah, Bruda, Bruda Iz. Yeah, like yeah, the one that passed away. Yeah. He said that he used to work with him in the 90s. Because no, he lives in Hawaii, yeah. Really? He lives in Hawaii, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, Liberal been, Kansas. That was my brother's wedding song. Wizard of Oz, yeah. There's actually, if you guys have never been to Kansas before, um, when I went to go see, it's kind of crazy, I went to go see two of my ex-boyfriends when I was in Kansas, and then I went from one to the other, and I took a bus. And on the way, there's like a sign that said, um, the, like, the Wizard of Oz Museum or something like that. And I wanted to go there so bad, but I couldn't, I, I couldn't go because I was like on a route, <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't have like a, I didn't have like a rental car or something where I could go. Oh, there you go. Israel, Kama, Kao, yeah, whatever you say. How do you, I don't know how to say that. I'm like, can you pronounce that for me? But I wouldn't be able to hear you. Yeah, when he Kama Kama Kawi wow, had a very nice ceremony for him. Easy. Oh, they called him Iz uh, for Israel. Israel. Oh. Did I ever tell you that the priest? Yeah, she's buried at the at the um, cemetery. I just went to the other day. So at my brother's wedding, the one that married my brother, who says you now gets the bride. Uh huh. He was know? in the movie, right? He was on Modern Family. He was in, yeah. He was in a TV show. Yeah. yeah he mm -hmm. married uh, the. Um, yeah, he was a good singer, right, Neil? I can't remember who the names are. Sofia Vergara. The Dumfries, there you go. Sofia Vergara Dumfries. and the Ted Ted Bundy guy. No, he married uh, the Dumfries. Which one is that? The tall guy with uh, three kids and. Oh, yeah. and they then the blonde lady. The and the blonde lady. Yeah, they oh, renewed the vows. Oh, okay, okay. But that priest re remarried them. You guys seen Soul Surfer? Yes, I have seen it with Bethany Hamilton. Shark Attack. Yeah, the one that took off their arm, right? Oh uh, yeah. Also, Carrie Underwood was in it. Props to Carrie. I didn't know that. That mm. Carrie Underwood was in that movie? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. You know, is she... That that story is based on a true story. Soul Surfer. Soul Surfer. And um, what amazes me is even after she lost her arm, she, she went serious. back out there and started surfing still. Like, it did not stop her. She was not scared to go back out there. Like, I would be terrified if I got eaten by a shark. And <laughs> I'm not going to have them take my other arm or my leg or, you know what I mean? I mean, the chances of you getting bit again is probably... Like being struck by like eating or something is probably not going to happen. Well, there was a surfing contest Dude, like in a Africa. Selinsky. And I'm surprised this surfing. guy goes back out of the water. But he was on a surfboard and a great white shark came up behind him and uh, attacked his surfboard. And they were Ooh. lucky to get somebody to get over there and pick him up. But wow. yeah, he was that close to death. But he still goes out and surfs still. That's crazy. Yeah, they had a big old fin sticking out of the water and you saw the splashing. Now, the girl that's from Soul Surfer, was, what kind of shark was it that attacked her? It wasn't a great white, was it? Wasn't it something else? Yeah, that girl still went pro. Yeah, she did. That was amazing. And just to think, just you got to think about like the human anatomy. When you're standing on a surfboard, Part of your balance, like, can you imagine you're already off balance? If you have like one arm missing, like your balance is gonna be even worse. You gotta learn how to balance yeah. with part oh, of your body shark. missing. Oh, okay. I was gonna say tiger, but I wasn't sure because I heard tiger sharks are less, aren't they less dangerous? Oh. Then the well, great whites, tiger, yeah, they're less dangerous. Great white so. sharks are more aggressive, but tiger sharks will They still attack more? Or no? The gray whites are more aggressive. So wait, tiger, do tiger sharks come closer to the shore than great whites because they're smaller? All sharks can possibly come close to the shore. But is it is it more frequent that they come closer because they're smaller in stature? They're both the same. 
Mom, meaning so cool. I mean, a full grown 20 foot great white shark. They're here. all hungry. They're ready to eat some yeah. piece of ass. <laughs> a 20 foot great white God shark. God bless y'all. Thank you so much, Lani. God bless. Could come in the three feet of water. Oh, I'm sure, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be in even one foot of water if there's a shark yeah. in it. <laughs> but when it comes to uh, tiger sharks. Great marks are huge. Tiger sharks are, are scavengers. Hear, yeah, I hear there's ways that you could provoke them while you're in the water where they want to attack you. Like what? I'm like, well, like they- Don't you, they say to go like this up their eyes? Oh, no, is that- You're supposed to poke their eyes, but great whites, they say like, if you push down on their nose or something, that they'll like, they'll turn on, turn away from you. If I ever encountered a great white, I don't even think I'm gonna think that fast to even I'm gonna be terrified trying to like catch my breath. You're like yeah. being submerged under the water. And to those, shout out to those people that can think really quick in, in quick situations like that where you have to like, you know, it's a matter of life and death because I just don't think I could be that person. Yeah, if you're panicking. But yeah. there's one place in this world I'll never, ever, ever go swimming. And that's Australia. I know that the killer whales like to eat liver of great white sharks. Oh yeah, shit. They do. Killer whales, the killer they're whales scary, huh? Are like the orcas? masters the orcas? of the ocean, I think. Because wow. they'll, they'll attack sharks, they'll attack other dolphins. Do they attack, like, uh, what is it, white whales or blue whales? What is it? Those. Mm. Which ones did we see in Hawaii? Yeah, orcas attack other whales. I will too. never forget, you guys, me and Michael and, my, and Michael's brother and, like, a whole bunch of us, we went, I don't think we ran it out the whole boat, but we were on the boat in... What was it in Maui? We're in Maui, right? Yeah, we're in Maui. And we went out on this boat whale watching. No, yeah, we were in Maui. We went on this boat whale watching and the, the whale came up out of the water. I, you weren't even looking in that direction. He was looking in the opposite oh, the direction. Whales. This whale almost landed on our boat. I am not freaking joking. I thought I breathed my last. I was like, my heart was pounding. It came back. And it went whoosh, like this. It came within inches of our boat. I totally thought it was going to hit us. It was the scariest shit ever. Did I, do you remember me telling you that? That that boat? And it's like, I was so frustrated. Being in Hawaii, every time a wheel came up out of the water, I went to go get a picture. And without fail, every single time, I would get like the very end of their tail. I would never get, it, there was such a delay on the camera. I was so pissed. I need one of those cameras that give you like an instant picture, like the second you press it. I'm off for my walk. Thanks for the wonderful live stream tonight. Oh, thank you so much, Neil, for coming in. You guys, make sure you guys uh, check out Neil. He has two different channels. Neil, before you go, just do me a favor. If you can post both of your channels in here, please do me a favor and subscribe to him. He is one of my mods. He's very, very sweet, very, very humble. And I just love him to death. So go and show him some love, you guys. Um, went to Chicago in 1991. I've been to Chicago three times. Have you? I stayed at the Swiss Hotel. Um, me and Miguelito went to Chicago one time. That was a fast trip, though. It was a fast trip, but we were able to go to the B. We went to Illuminati and then I took you to the Sears Tower, but you didn't end up going up, huh? This was a two and a half hour wait. Yeah. Sharks need to keep moving so water goes through the their gills. gills. Um, oh yeah, the oxygen. Yeah, most sharks, but there are. You're welcome, Neil. Neil, post your post what, your links, please. Where they sleep? Well, was it on twice that I went to Chicago? Did I go two? I think I went one time. I went with my dad. I went with you. I think I went one. I, I think I went on like I was by myself when I went to Chicago one time. I think I went to Chicago. On maybe a, a bus one time. That's his first channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to that, and then he has an aviation one as well. Um. Good night, Neil. Um. You're a wonderful person around. Oh, thank you, Neil. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that kind gesture. Oh, man, you guys. 
I'm gonna need to put this food away. I'm gonna have to eat the rest of this tomorrow. I'm already filled up. What are you looking up right now? Uh, just talking. Good night, Neil. Thank you so much for posting your channels. So proud of you that you started a second channel. I got it. I have Sierra's channel and I need to start it though. Mikey is uh, wonderful as well. Yes, he is. Um, I don't want to leave him out. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice guy. He's definitely a nice guy. Good night, Neil. Do you guys know that as soon as a shark bites, this white protected layer covers the eyes yeah, uh, for that. protection and debris in the eyes? Damn scary. Wow, really? I never knew that. I never heard of that. You've heard of that? Um, I know when they bite down that the eyes go back. There's like Here, talk to them really quick. I'm going to clean up really quick. Um... But talk to them like you know. Mm. Yeah, it's a protection, but it can still um, poke into their eyes and hurt them, though. I don't want to leave him out. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, when I used to uh, bodyboard back in the day, I never had any shark issues or jellyfish issues. But I kind of just see it like, you know, people who go swimming. Oh, Shark Week. Yeah, that is pretty cool. They have a cool TV show, Shark Yeah, I like Shark Week. But, you know, the, all these people, you know, go out surfing and take a chance with sharks. You know, it's just part of life. You know, you're entering their world and it's just... You know, I say it the same when people go hiking up in the deserts, you know. If you come across a rattlesnake and get bit, you're in its territory. So, you know, it's just part of life. Balaban is here. Hey, Balaban. Is Balaban in there? Tell me to say hi. Rhonda says hello. Yeah, I forget what country it was, but they had showed um, a shark. Uh, no, I haven't tried shark. Not yet, I haven't. Uh, but there was a country where the shark was so big that... I uh, can't remember what the story was, because it was years ago. But it, it, they estimated it had been like 40 feet long. I want to say it was Africa, but I'm not sure. And they had a video of it too, like the shadow of the, of the shark, like a blur image, but... Am I on dating sites? No. I never, I mean, I used to back in the day, but I got tired of them. Yeah, so shark does have a lot of mercury salt lake. Um, so does swordfish. Swordfish has a lot of mercury in it too. Um, 
There's a couple other uh, items that has a high mercury count, but I can't remember exactly what they are. You would have to do a little research. But swordfish, marlin, shark, they all have high mercury. So if you ate it like once in a blue moon, then you would, you would be fine, but I wouldn't make it a you know habit to make it your monthly item. Yeah, uh, marlin and swordfish they have high mercury. <coughs> I'm more of um, a shellfish person. Though. I like hey, my shrimp and Lord. crab. I like shrimp and crab, lobster tail. Crustaceans. Crustaceans. But I, f I felt bad about the lobsters and the crabs, but I don't know how true it is or not, but supposedly when you put them in head first, they don't even feel it, they just die instantly. So I don't know if that's true. How are you, Father Ben? I like your picture of you. You really beautiful looking, my friend. Where's your picture at? So at least nobody, where's your picture at? Is it... How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Miguelito wants to see what Salt Lake Snow Bunny <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Salt Lake Snow Bunny, where's your IG at? He wants to see. I'm starting to get tired now. I'm like in a food coma from eating all that food. <laughs> and I didn't even eat it all. I, I put some oh, of it. Oh, you look really beautiful. Uh, don't get jealous now, Michael. <laughs> oh, I'm just dead. I'm dead on all levels. Miguelito, you need to go home and go to sleep. Yeah. It's already late. Is it almost is it three? Isn't it after? Oh, it's 2.30. I should get going. All right, y'all. We'll wait like five more minutes. We'll say our goodbyes. Yeah. Because I got to still finish this orange juice and then <laughs> throw it away. Keep pets inside during the eclipse. Huh? It says keep pets inside during the eclipse. Oh, I don't think we have to worry about that. <laughs> we don't have enough... Yeah, I we're think not, we're not getting that much secret. What, they're 45%? Yeah, so? we're not going to have that much coverage. It's going to be like 45%, 50. Um, I showed him in his chat one night. I don't know. What chat? How do you show him in your chat? In, oh, Ballon Bench yeah. chat? Why are you not showing us in our chat? We <laughs> want to see. Uh, what does it say? I wonder. I wonder oh, I wonder if, if all, all, the all of the poop in the ocean is what makes it salty. Yeah, <laughs> oh, fuck you're dead, Jenna. <laughs> I never thought about that. Like when you're like in the ocean, you get salt yeah. in your mouth or the, like salt water in your mouth. So at night, do you just have to think about all the wildlife in the ocean that's pooping in the water? But all the human the waste that goes out into the, the drains. The and poo, yeah. Oh, that, all they get goes. treated first, but yeah, it's still. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> <laughs> you went down and got a brown spot right there. Oh, <laughs> Gross. That would not be a good good night at all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it jumped. Yeah, I know. It's like the comments come in all at the same time and it jumps up by <gasps> like 10. Oh, I'm going to let you fix it. <sighs> Uh, Bella Bun, you like to eat fish? <laughs> Just to think about all the fish that you eat that swallows all the feces. Um, MXP says, no, it's the water going through the earth's crust that causes the salt. Haha, -ha. I saw it quickly. Ha 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 ha. It was nice picture of her laughing out loud. It's all good, Rhonda. Tell Salt Lake to show you. Yes, yeah, Salt Lake, show us. We want to know on IG or something, Rhonda. Just ask her. Salt Lake's nobody. I'm asking you. Please send us a picture. We're dying to know what you look like. Bella Band Channel, thanks, sweetie. Appreciated from Salt Lake. <laughs> Michael's getting ready to get his IG out. <laughs> Mentiroso. <laughs> he is trying to look 
Why do you have all these different cities? 17 in Russia? Yeah. 17 degrees in Russia. <gasps> Moab is 37. Moab. Dexter's house is 60 and rain. Murfreesboro. Mm -mm. You have all these different places. Death Valley. You just put random places Jordan on here. Valley. Why do you have... That's crazy. But, oh, it's going to be partly cloudy. This is supposed to have rain tomorrow. Bella Land, huh? Damn, they're going to see it. Alright. Well, tell everybody their, your goodbyes. Yeah. Tell Salt Lake Snow Bunny to come back and see you again next time. <laughs> going to crash uh, when is the next stream um let's see what's tomorrow monday i don't know what my schedule is like this week i don't know what days i work this week i don't know what days i have to go to the hospital this week i don't know i know i have a lot of hospital visits like this week and next week so um there will be other streams, but I just don't know when it will be. But I can let you guys know on the next stream a little bit more. I do know like the last day of this month, I will be live streaming, whatever day that is. What yeah. day is the last day of this month? Um, I think it's the 31st. <laughs> 30 days, how September? 30 days, maple. Let's see. Oh my God. That didn't. That didn't answer so my funny. question. So funny. I want to surprise Michael. Maybe sometime. I think he works by Disneyland. Michael. That is true. Michael. It's not been coming to Mikey's work. Michael. Uh, what day is April thirtieth? That is a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, so I'll be live streaming. Oh, it's we still have three weeks until then. So, yeah. So. There's something happening today. Today's the eclipse. I know they're coming to draw my blood today, too. I took pictures of them, so it's supposed to happen in April, but I already missed one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm tired. You're very welcome, Salt Lake. Oh. Um, Leave your picture for me if you want. You can show Rhonda a picture of you. It's up to you. Oh, I know. I want to see that so bad. When does that come out? 2026. So the Goonies comes out in 2026, and then when does the ET one come out? When does the ET one come out? Um. Yes, yeah, Salt Lake Snow Bunny, show me what you look like, or have Balaban show me, or somebody show me. Okay, guys, take care. I'll be in Vegas during the week, um, May 17th, for EDC. Maybe I'll see you there. Um, May 17th. Maybe. You like to go in June, huh? You like, he likes to go in to Vegas in June. I like July and August. I thought you liked June because of the... But EDC is better. No, you told me June because of the um, lightning. That's in the July to August. Monsoon, uh, monsoon season. Monsoon season is not... Doesn't start yeah. in June? Um, my bad. Today is the eclipse, Rhonda. Yes. What time does the eclipse come out at? Uh, all I could do is say is Pacific time. times for different places, right? Yeah, there's different time zones, so Pacific time, I would go out at 10.45 a.m. Pacific time. Vegas Rebel. Um, are you over there smoking on some weed? What are all those puff, puff, puff pass ones? <laughs> what is all that smoke <clears throat> that you're blowing over there? What are you looking at? I'm trying to find the ET for me. Oh, the picture that you were showing me? The extraterrestrial, I'm dead. Oh my, 45 plus. See, that is so fake. That that website you were just on right there is so fucking fake. That one? Yes. <laughs> First of all, that girl ain't looking for oh, no 45 plus. Summer of next year. There we go. Supposedly. E.T. phone home. It has the red finger. <laughs> hey, sir, screenshot. Ronda, I'm going to let Salt Lake uh, show you a picture of her to you. It's private, Rhonda. Uh, she will show you on Instagram. Don't show anyone besides yourself and him. Okay, no worries. I won't show anybody. 
Bella Van channel. I kind of forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. Salty so Snowbunny, Miguelito, and I are wanting to know what she looks like. I it's weird. I like have envisioned what she looks like in my head, but <laughs> but then I don't know if it's. Did you really pull her up in Big Bear Lake? Who? Yeah, it's this. No. Yes. It says it's, Big Bear. That's just the areas that I was looking. Exactly. You pulled her up. <laughs> Michael, you're a hot mess. Oh, anyways, guys. All right. Tell your goodbyes to the chat. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't hit it yet. And please do me a favor to leave a message after the live stream. E.T. looks fake. I don't like the picture of him. So weird of E.T. I want to be with E.T. I want to ride in the bikes up in the sky. All right, you have a good night, Salt Lake. It was nice to Take see you on the stream Take care, Salt Lake again. Snowbunny. Message me, Salt Lake Snowbunny, your picture. I want to see. Keep warm. I know it's I will show too. them sometime. I got to. Yes, definitely. Please show us. We're uh about my channel. You're so funny. You gotta show us now. Better now than later. Jetta, thank you so much for modding. Appreciate you. Jetta, do you have a wait, I think your name is so long that it doesn't show you as my mod, but <laughs> I think you are my mod. Jada, you are still a mod, right? <laughs> uh, Rhonda and Mikey, you guys are awesome. Thank you, Salt Lake Snow Bunny. We appreciate you. Bye, Rhonda, my friend. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. Hey, have a have wonderful a night. night. Miguelito needs to get home. because yeah, the drive to go. <laughs> I mean, he's welcome to sleep on the couch so he's not driving in the middle of the night. I always hate when he leaves like really late because there's drunks on the it. road and stuff like that. But anyways, much love to everybody. Please leave a message after the live stream though. Alex, it's good to see you in the chat. Alex says, bye Mikey. <laughs> uh, bye. Alex Grogan's. We got to listen to music, you guys, next time. Anyone coming to California this summer, let us know. <laughs> Yeah, let us know, and then um, Salt Lake Snow Bunny and Alex will have to listen to some music next time you guys come through. Uh, put that in the recyclables. Thank you. Rhonda, Salt Lake, Salt Lake is my mod forever and ever. <laughs> have a good night, Rhonda. All right, you two guys. Much love, everybody. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I hope you enjoyed the, the music game. I've been wanting to play with... Um, play it with you guys for some time so glad i was able to finally bring it to you guys tonight and hopefully you liked it and maybe we can play it again next time uh next time i have an an alternate person with me all right much love everybody thank you again for joining and i'll see you on the next live i'll let you know when the next live will be it'll be this week sometime just don't know when all right guys stay tuned and i'll see you guys later peace bye